Hello and welcome to January 2023, in February 2023. This is the recap for the Zonotic Defrag World Records set last month. It's a long one. We've got 176 videos. Uh, we have 141 maps, got a new world record. 267 world records and some number of world records per player that's a bit of a mess in posting but i think the most is amnesia 47 world records by the looks of things not 100 percent got to total of 32 unique players that's the key number there 32 unique players who set at least one world record in january not quite sure how these numbers are taken pretty sure i got a world record but it was only held for like two minutes. So I think it might be only if you got the world record at the end of the map. Does it count in that? So back and forth. Because I did hold a first place for about two minutes uh, in the middle of a, a session. But I think it only counts at the end of each map session. So if there's a bit of back and forth, you might not see it. That's a lot for Amnesia if that's the case. That seems the most reasonable looking at the numbers and looking at how it's going. We've got 167 records some of these records will have been set in january uh because of the way that i just do this i do off of what has been uploaded to morris office's youtube channel uh it's just the easiest way to do it for this it's only usually two or three days out and we'll catch them next month you know so there's going to be a couple for the start from january a couple at the end um but we're going to miss a couple off the end and then they'll be for next month's video it's gonna be a long one uh youtube doesn't tell you how long the playlist is anymore so yeah let's head over to here hopefully this is working we're gonna see the added to queue thing this is lasting for like five six seconds each time i added 167 i i started doing it over 15 minutes ago it's still oh it stopped cracking anyway first record bug 11 amnesia 420 Let's see how this one goes. This is a straight version of the map. Nice drop down, get a good bit of speed off of the ramp. Should be able to take the shortcut here. Uh, not quite, I think it's, yeah. No, you, you can take that shortcut with the rocket version of this map. But I think, yeah, that cut might be a bit difficult to get the exact, it's probably possible, but getting the exact spacing. Because I know in the rocket version, you don't, you kind of go really far if you get a really good rocket. And I'm not very good at rocket. Oh god, it's really bright through there. Nice down ramp. Getting a circle jump off the down ramp as well, I think. Gentle. A little bit weird there, but this map was, I believe, a Warsaw map. Uh, not 100% sure. And some of the bug maps are definitely Warsaw maps. Here, up the... Escalator. Over and round the corner. We saw a few records on this map from last month. Uh, on each of them. It was a new map last month. Been a lot of new maps this month. So we're going to have a lot of those. Oh no really. Bugging on the landing. And I think you can even get a down ramp. And then cross the line. So definitely certain sections missing from that. Uh, definitely could be pushed a little bit further. Getting that down ramp bug. That sucked. But this does seem to be still the world record. Uh, oh no, it won't be. No. So Amnesia still has it, but with a slightly improved time, which is probably just that ending there. Nice time from Amnesia. And yeah, good time. We head on to the next Next record, Kota Race 16 by Jonah. We're still downloading the map. That's good. How does the server... These are rendered on the server, I'm pretty sure. Amazing record. Absolutely fantastic record there from Jonah. Um, okay, so we've had a new record. So we should be able to see something, but that's a strange thing. So potentially this wasn't even that bad, if that's something that's going to turn up. But yeah, we've got a couple more records, so we'll take a look better at that map. 
in the later section. It's just, plus, it's a nine second map. So it literally finished by the time that I downloaded. Incredible. Uh, yeah. Next up, we have Kota Race 17. We have Cottagens taking this one. Kota races are they're they're, they're interesting. I, unless I'm very mistaken, the Kota in Kota race is Cottagens. They're always interesting maps and often built to to confuse you. That's not going to work. I've got absolutely no idea what's happening here. I'm pretty sure we're trying to destroy this door so we can get through. Without dying. They're unique, I believe is, is the best way to say it. We're now going to have a grenade jump. Very rarely see this sort of stuff. I would like to see more of this sort of stuff, actually, using these... Um, these grenades in actual maps, because you see it a lot waiting for grenades to pop in uh, in Quake 3 maps. Either that or used in the instant detonating bits. So it would be pretty cool to see some of this stuff incorporated into less of a... I mean, this is a very cool map. I've got to say, this is a very, very cool map. I don't think it's sort of race worthy. You wouldn't you wouldn't compete potentially on this map, but you'd certainly, you know, trial maps are fun. Trial maps are something that I've... So this purple one, oh, that's like an ender pearl, except it bounces around corners, so it teleports you when it explodes. That's very cool. Very, very cool. And then the that one gives you a nice bit of height. Uh, I think we're just going to go straight up here. Yep, straight up. I'll try to get the speed, because if you can carry the speed, then you can probably use that bounce pad. Uh, or not the bounce pad, the uh, the wall. Up and over. Nope. <laughs> really very cool. Very cool map. Interesting, like, aiming tactic, though, because if you look, the, the crosshair isn't where he's throwing it. It goes a bit high for the crosshair. Yeah, there's definitely some cool stuff that you could do on this. Definitely some cool stuff. And with those ideas as well. Yeah, Cottagen's got the world record again on a different one one week ago. Moon managed to get one. Remembering these guys' names is going to be impossible. Everyone with their daft things. Not a cool map. That's true, it's not a cool map. It's, but it's a, it's a pretty nice map. So we will have a look. And we've got another one. Code to race 19. I've watched this one. I can't remember it. I watched it at the start of the week. At the start of the month. When it came out. I do watch these records from time to time. This one starts off a bit more normal. <laughs> Certainly no. I, I didn't even know those mines existed. So that's incredible. Like I, I really didn't know. There's some warp zone stuff going on. But uh, yeah I didn't know those mines existed. It's just kind of a. It's such a. Like, other than the fact that it's very tight and difficult to strafe in. That's cool. Weapon combo and then a, a climb there. A rocket climb. Always love a good rocket climb. And then you're to the finish. Like, it's a pretty sick map other than the fact it's super tight. A few records been broken. Kota. These, the, a lot of these are going to be difficult when we get over here. Because we're going to be looking at quite a lot of new maps. These Kota ones are very new. But, uh, yeah, next up, what have we got? We've got Kota Race 19. No, we haven't. We've got Bug 11. Have I gone the wrong way? I think I've gone the wrong way. What's he gone back to the start of the playlist for? Okay. Kota Race 20. By Sarpent. So after the strangeness of Kota Race 16, then Kota Race... This seems very normal so far. Just a pad strafe map. Or with a key. With a key we like. I, I'm liking it so far. Warp zone. Probably where you used... Okay, no idea what's going on here. 
Lots of strange V flips. Oh god. <laughs> Some right spacing going on here. I like it. Oh, gravity ca changing. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, it's gravity changing. Yeah, I've seen that sort of stuff before. Nice. I should like these as we're going through. Mirio managed to take this record. That's only third at the minute. And yeah, so that one was actually set last month, but it's still not currently in this month, but it's fine. Because officially it was uploaded on the 1st of January. There we are, Cota Race 20. Next map up, we have Bug 83 by Malice in 2 minutes and 50 seconds and 52 milliseconds. 3 minutes I've decided is my cutoff point for... Um, oh god, this is awful for the bitrate. I'm sorry about the bitrate. <laughs> really, really sorry about the bitrate. Yeah, three minutes is going to be my cutoff point. It's, I can't see what's going on particularly, but we're climbing up. Oh, there's definitely a way to get that just on the hook and be able to um, be able to just go straight up those, like you can on most of the mine Minecraft maps. Very pretty flowers, yes. I'm sure this looks lovely in game. I'm sure this looks absolutely lovely in game, but just uh not particularly great in uh in YouTube compressed especially double YouTube compressed quality. The Twitch stream probably is uh a little bit better. Well, I don't know, actually, because the Twitch stream is less high quality than the recording I've got going. The local recording is high quality, but YouTube will compress the shit out of it. it. Looks like a pretty cool map. There might be multiple routes. I can't see jack shit. It's like having a fog of war. Uh, but I've played maps with these textures on the floor before, and you can see where you're going when you're actually playing. So... Yeah, it's not too bad. It's just horrible. Oh yeah, stick a stick a quick pit map on it. It'll be fine. That might have even been what Malice had to play with to be able to see what was going on. He may have actually had to put on a pit map because yeah, they're completely different colours. You'd have a grey floor and a yellow wall, and that would be yeah. Uh, that would have sought you out. Through these little tunnels. We probably have one more room till the end. Yeah, one more room. This will be the ending. Oh, through tunnels. Through tunnels to the end, I guess. Maybe one more room after that. That was a small room. The first rooms were pretty, pretty substantial sections. Not really too massively much you can say about this one. It's just a classic boom, boom, boom to the finish. Very nice, very nice. Uh, bug 83. Still Malice's record. Beat your record by Akamoli from seven months ago. Mui has the speed record. Uh, oh, Malice managed to take a bit off of his time, actually, after that. So month go so that's the one we just watched and then a couple of days later he managed to take another another bit of time off of his record which you might get to see you might get to see that one again very nice very nice from malice there on to another cota map we've got cota race 18 by cottagens i don't know why i say cottagens but cota probably not the best We got boost panels? Or is he just shooting generally? Oh Jesus. Oh god. Good heavens. Oh, we've got to bounce on top of that. Aha. Then 
tightrope walking into can't see anything blackness. Love it. Round these corners into a lovely Stanley Parable type wall. Great art style through that section. Really like that bit. Very nice. Speedy classic Kota map and classic Kota style. Gets the first world record, gets the video and then boom. Everybody else beats him. There's a rocket launch somewhere. Nice. Very nice. Next up we've got weapon test map. Oh, not this bloody one. You bug out for a while, gain a shit ton of speed and then do that. Yeah. Not much to say about it. <laughs> yeah, 522's got it. Yeah. Shit loads of speed. You just wait. You just wait, basically. Kota was just waiting probably not long enough. Oh, well. Next up, we've got a Minecraft style map, a Rovno from Nature. We saw this one last week be a si uh, be a twenty minute map. Nature has managed to beat that, but still definitely not a perfect run, as we can see straight from the start. I mean, that was a fairly big mistake. It definitely lost more than two point four seconds. It was only two point four seconds. Uh, two point four seconds back. We're going to take a skip through this one because it is a very long video. Over the three minute mark. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see this one in full ever. Uh, it seems like a long one. I know one map from last week we were able to see. We will be able to see this month. Um, having been beaten in less than two minutes, I think. Uh, managed to get a massive improvement. These maps are definitely very cool maps. They're they're in certainly in the style of Minecraft parkour maps, where you kind of you can see defrag's a lot about fluidity, right? It's about moving through the levels and continuous continuous flow, very rarely stopping for anything. Whereas these Minecraft parkour maps, the whole thing of Minecraft parkour is not to do that; it's to just jump and stop. And jump and stop. And when we're playing with this movement the way we can continue and carry momentum, we can do things like this. Those shortcuts where you would have had to have gone all the way around and doing things like that with the double jump. And they're definitely... As far as I'm aware, they are actually built for Quake rather than um, built in Minecraft and then... Uh, what's the word? Made for Minecraft and then sent over to Quake. Because of course there's a lot of things here that you just wouldn't be able to do in in Minecraft. A lot of things that require the double jump feature. I don't think these would be possible. I know I've seen a, a map like this set up in, um, in Quake 3. But I don't think any of this is possible in vanilla Quake 3. Gotta be, uh, gotta be CPM mode. It's still pretty good. Jumping through these. Skip along to the end. We had 97, it was two hours last week and we had 97 videos. We've got 176 this month. <laughs> so yeah, just, uh, just a few. we got left we'll watch this one to the end from here nice drop down then i believe you've got to get up off of this onto that over there and then across to the diamond block finish part the yeah, diamond block finish so from here over those nope perfect and into the finish Beautiful there from nature. Time has been majorly beaten by Jaska. 
with 666 on the speed, you can see that's really slow. Like you can get that in a circle jump. You could break that speed record by just running around in circles on any of those levels if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, nice. Next up, we have Alborg by Malice. Going to be a more classic strafe map for sure. With a, a tech, technical strafe maps mostly. Oh, are they all Minecraft original maps? Huh. So there's some bits that I'm sure, unless there's something I'm completely missing, like a piece on the wall. Um, There's some bits that I'm sure are... Oh, nice beating a Mac, another Mac Mac record, falls to Malice. Yeah, there's some bits I'm sure, like you're using double jumps and things that just you wouldn't be able to get that much height in Minecraft. Next up, Cool Speed, it's Cool Sle Speed 5 Slick by Riffo. There was a fair few slick grinding sessions this month. It's been good. I'm not a massive fan of uh, of full slick. I like slick when it's incorporated into things, but there's definitely a lot of slick grinders. Oh yeah, slime block bounces aren't in this. That's pretty cool. I might give them a go in Minecraft then. <laughs> nice. Riffo taking out a clasp record. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Pretty slick. Another Riffo record. CCC slick. Uh, is this... Oh, I'm going to have to watch for a second to figure out. No, it's not. I thought it was a different map. Nice bit of wall strafing though. And doesn't need to jump for that section. Flying across the line with a nice bit of time save to go sub 12 seconds. Yeah. Oh, nature's, nature's come back on it. So we might get to see that one later as well. Yeah, ni nice time. Nice time from Riffo. Few people coming in around. New map then a, a month ago. Must have been a new map. Oh right, they're all VQ three able. Yeah, I suppose if they work in uh, Q three. Next up, a map. Very difficult map. In CPM, actually, surprisingly, uh, I played this for a walk up Quake three walk up Likwa. It was easier in VQ3, and I had literally never played VQ3 Defrag before this. That's so smooth. There was n like This map is very much built for uh, VQ3 spacing. But, I mean, I'd make it look easy. Oh, another nature time. Love seeing some records going up and down and up and down. Old record, though, that was beaten there. Very old records. Pops in up and around. You know, you got Paul from three weeks ago. You got decent, decent players putting in decent times. Ghost Sandy 3 up next. Amnesia. Our most record holding individual this week, according to the stats. Nice, just a classic fast strafe map. I hope we see some more rockets. Not full rockets, but like maybe some combo maps, maybe something like that. Don't know. This will be a nice time. Nice speed. Oh, we've got him. Not physical balls. Love it. Did he just completely ignore the fact there was slick there? It must be a broken slick there if the uh, he's just ignored that. An hour ago, so we're not going to see that one, but Nero has broken this record, which Amnesia was beating a record from three years ago out of Donald. Incredible. Getting some records from ages ago. All right, so that's, that's likely where that time save came from. Nero was probably behind Amnesia, but just completely ignored the slick. Just strange, if you get a set of world records, especially one where you're actually beating someone from three years ago, surely you'd uh Surely you'd figure out there's slick there. 
Unless Amnesia just doesn't have uh, a slick bar on. Next up, SRR 2K5 by Riffo. A full slick map. Very nice rainbow... Ro oh, S... RR will be Rainbow Road. 2K5, don't know. S, no idea. Slick, I suppose, probably. It's not a Mario remake. I don't recognise it. No, oh, no checkpoints. Long map, though. Over three minutes, we're going to have to skip some. Wow, this would take ages if you weren't um, skipping. I bet there's a non-slick version of this as well. Jeez, <laughs> a non-slick version of this, I'd be... Wow, that's a cut and a half. Hold on, let's watch that. Fwumph. And I think... Just have a look. So you come round here and you would have to go... To get up there, you've got to go... Up here, round the back, off screen, then back around this platform, then up, then two more loops, I think, before you actually get up to this platform here mad imagine you accidentally end up on the wrong pad though <laughs> yeah look at that so you've just skipped all this spaghetti junction stuff and now i think we might be going off of this ramp and up to yep skip that oh straight over the top no not not skipping it then i guess you probably wouldn't be able to get around the corner it looks so smooth for a long run We'll have a look what the records have been, but it looks super, like, op fairly optimised, to be fair. With these landings being super smooth, but I don't know if it's, like, one of those things like Trackmania maps, you've got to, got to root them. Smashing straight through. Oh, lovely there. Nice work here. Sling it round. Oh, he makes it. That was tight. We going round? No, not going round. Ah, but we're going to land up here. I think we might get the U-turn, but it's very high speeds to get U-turns out of. Yeah, definitely a routing map. Definitely a routing map. Especially with no checkpoints, like you go wherever, go wherever. I do quite enjoy um, the fact he had a minus means he'd already done that. I suppose it's only three and a half minutes. There are some like twenty-five minute maps. And you're like, wait, you already did it and got a decent run, <laughs> like compared to uh, score zero probably means he was the only guy. Oh no, so why is that giving him zero score? I think that must be broken. Because it's giving him score here. Yeah. Nice run. Beating a run by collapses from four months ago. That would be uh, Banano from a year ago. A few runs a year ago. Not bad. Not bad. Count Columns up next. Yeah, I think it might just be broken with the zero score thing. Malice making the plays. Oh, that, this is beautiful. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Looks like a V-hop map. <laughs> oh, God, there's no way I'd be able to beat this, I don't think. This would be like... Oh, I he's just managed to keep it together. And he's going for... Oh, wow. This is the part that's mad to me. The... Um, maps like this, where they're so precise that you can barely get uh, barely get anything. So I keep yammering on about Trackmania, but, you know, watched um, Wurchill try to beat some of his old records. Uh, f like, from the past. Oh, well, that's quite a big time save. Nearly a second there, actually. But he played one map that was smoothness. That was the name of the map. And it was pretty much impossible to beat the time because you 
if you went any faster, you would get a slowdown later because you would overjump something, you know. So you could only go faster in a corner and then you had to slow down back to the same speed. Really, you know, tight times. And this sort of map is just like that. Really, really tight times. I expect to see a lot of tight times and then... But you saw, managed to save two seconds, which is quite incredible. But God, your hands must be hurting after you've just sort of AD'd all the way up that. If you get into the rhythm, you, you're going to have it. And yeah, breaking some older records. I'm going to assume that there's fails in that one. But yeah, look, so close times here. These will all be one-shot times. And then this will have... Uh, have a fall. But I don't know if there's any respawn like back onto a pad or anything or if it's not. But yeah. Good map. Good map. Next up. Another one by Malice. J J4N Sadist. Yeah, barely touching platforms will be the best to save time. God. Oh, he's crouching. What's the crouching for? Is that just because CTF? <laughs> is that just a CTF crouch? Or is that a real thing? This is the same sort of map. So it's definitely a sadist map. I mean, it's six minutes long. Yeah, I know there's reasons to crouch when you're rocket jumping. Like, if you crouch, you get boosted higher rather than gaining speed. So if you're going over a certain speed, you pretty much can't rocket jump, like, for height. Um, but yeah, I know a lot, of, a lot of people crouch and jump around because of CTF. All the jumps have falls after the apex of the jumps. They didn't save any time from step up. Yeah. Yeah, so it's just kind of taking the most direct path. And yeah, your run would have been uh, stopped somewhere. Because I, I don't know. Some maps have... Well, yeah, but, you know, you can go to the edge of a of a block because you're zigzagging, so it's path of least resistance sort of thing. It's just mad. You've got to remember, basically, where you're going. Like, it's pure memorization and just remembering and then... Choosing whether you've got enough speed to make some of these shortcuts, like skipping a block. Because there's some bits like here, he's going to skip a block. And it's like, is it easier? Yeah, that was definitely easier on the, the one that he just skipped. But some of the ones back there that he's only just making up to the next block and skipping one corner. So there's definitely some actual genuine time save on this one versus the other one. Yeah, that's what I mean. I know that it's... Uh... Because it lowers your head rather than... So crouching makes sense sometimes if you've got to get like squeezed through a box. Nice run. 1.7 seconds saved. So, again, hands burning. <laughs> and again, we see Jaska. Two years ago, V's and Jaska. This same a week apart. Glad to see some of these older maps pulling out new... Um, did Vert just get halfway up and just decide to strafe to get that? And just like falling and strafing and just eventually got some speed. Uh, yeah, good to see some... Some of these old maps get some more love. Next up, we've got the ever-lovely Bug71RL. From the lovely Des. I said there was a hell of a lot of time to save on this map because the run from last month was crap. Not to diss, I can't remember who set it, but um, like it was slower than the strafe run. 
because it went all the way around everything. That's it. I mean, it was straight. It was straight to the finish line. It used the rocket launcher. The time we saw last month, I think, was... I think it was this one. I can't quite remember. No, that's two weeks ago. Can't have been. It was either Linux in a bit. We watched December. Could have been GFX. Same day. Yeah, it was probably GFX. But the GFX run was only... It was either the same time or slightly faster than the... Than the strafe one. And it really it went round a lot of stuff and missed and hit into walls. So it was like... Not a clean run, you know. Very long one up next. 13 minutes of a husvano by Cottagens. Uh, boring bit to start off with. Next. Oh, this is a very, like, classic Minecraft parkour-y type thing. Hide this, it'd look cleaner. No, nope. almost too bar. Uh, only show a new tab. There we go. There we go, make it a little bit cleaner so you don't all have to see my random ass bookmarks. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, definitely clean up on this one. Carter, one of the people who tends to, um, oh Jesus, <laughs> really edging around that one, tends to hit some of these harder maps first and then just get absolutely destroyed like a day later, but somehow always manages to get in quite early uh, and get a run down before anyone else. It's definitely something. Nice. Lovely portal through to the end. Love how they've all got the old uh, old textures and some of them are really old textures. Go. That. That's very disorienting. The just pure blackness. I think something must have happened to the to the textures, because that must be like concrete, but you can always see concrete. Like concrete, it's not, it's not that pitch black, but I don't know if that's, uh, no, it can't be compression, because normally, like watching Minecraft videos, it's not. Yeah, you could skip a jump there with a double jump. Oh, still in that room. Oh shit, what have I pressed? I can press back on my mouse. Oops. Let's skip through to near to the end. They are fairly black, but you can usually see them. Like, they're not, like, pitch, pitch black, you know? Certainly black wool. Black concrete, sure. But they're like, they do have a texture. They do definitely have some texture to them. If you encase someone completely in them in Minecraft itself, you can see. Uh, like, you can see the texture when you stood right next to it. If you're from a distance, yeah, you won't be able to see the texture. But when you're actually in that box, it looks like you're just in the void in there. In this, but in actual Minecraft, it's not quite as dark. Skip just another minute. Where are we now? Come on, you can do it. Cool. Glad to see we are getting some long maps played, even if I can't actually cover them. Oh, God, slick. 
that's completely different to <laughs> to ice. Because, like, at least on ice you can crouch in Minecraft, whereas here... Why does he look so much taller when he stood on top of those ice blocks? Okay. <laughs> I mean, we've seen that before, even just trying to get down a one by one. You just fit, but you can't do a crouch drop off. Because uh, step up exists. And there it is, across the line. Lovely map. <laughs> Great. Oh yeah, I replied to it. <laughs> We've got another record on this down to a sub three minutes. We probably get to see that all the way through either in this stream or the next. Over to the next record then we've got Oh god, what on earth is this? GVN file solution Riffo. Uh, yeah, it's just It's just hope and pray. You're just, you're just hoping that you hit something close and push it across the line. Mad. Well, it worked. He won. Lovely. Uh, I think for most people it's hoping. <laughs> at the, yeah, at the world record end, it's, it's going to be rooting and... Well, there's still going to be some, like, rooting and hoping, because you, th those, uh, like, the chances of being 100 units a second faster, and that's, like, 100 units the length. Nice time on this map. Born Star Chute. Been a year old record by Ash from uh, December 21. Nice time. We're into January now, yeah. Yeah, we're into January. Cool. Yeah, just hope you find the routing. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, it's just stood around waiting for mines. Uh, oh, what? <laughs> 522, I hate you. Yeah, just shoot mines at the floor. For 15 seconds, go up, shoot at one at the roof, then pop back down. A strange, strange map, but there you are. <laughs> There's the record. Does the job. No, I think that may actually be the... Uh, considering this, I, I don't know about these times, but considering Kota's done... A one second time. That's likely to be our actual run. I think it's just how do you um how do you time a reset? I think that's the key one. Is how to time a reset. But yes, five two two is definitely a resident map breaker around here. Oh I like this map. Even though it's slick, I do like this map. It uses a lot of step ups. And just trying to poof, straight around, get the best strafes while staying as close as possible to the wall. Oh, we're going to have another record taken a week ago. Yeah, so we might see that one. That'll be pretty close to being seen or not. But yeah, pretty nice. It does get beaten, but it gets beaten later. It might not get seen. There's a lot of these that will get beaten. But yeah, we are. Next map, Final Solution 2. Slightly different to the first, uh, the third Final Solution, which I think was the one that we watched before. This one does seem a lot more about routing. Because you're going... Oh no, now you're going really fast. But you, you're kind of, in essence, going slower. Yeah, there's a lot less hoping. I think there's still a bit of hoping. It's like, well, I hope I hit... Yeah, look, he's aiming for that one. You can see he's aiming for... Oh, straight into the finish, that is. You can see he's aiming for it, but it's one of those, like... Yeah, please. 
Lovely time. Lovely time. Decent break from... Uh, uh, so they were set on the same time, the Jonah and um, Riffo ones. Now then Riffo improved it slightly. Is that the one we just saw? Yeah, we just saw the next round. Blessed are the slick again by Riffo. Oh, he's just beaten Amnesia's time. Oh, come on, don't die on me. There we go. Just beaten Amnesia's time as his uh, as his death before this run, and now he's about to break the world record. It essentially, did just break the world record. I'm not quite sure what it would have been before. Boom! Straight across the line. Lovely new record. And yeah, that was Amnesia's record. So new map when they were playing this. Great time, great time. Zoc 24 Slick by Amnesia. Oh, this bloody map. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I played this map. It's actually quite good. It, it's quite a good map. But I just couldn't get a run. Like, I was on... Potentially not world record pace, but close damn two. And you just bug on the flat, because I don't think it's quite perfectly flat. You bug on the ramps. Yeah, it's a good map, but just... Like, you can see Amnesia jumping here so that he doesn't get ramp bugs. But you're just coming down here, hoping you don't get any ramp bugs. Then you can see jumping up here, because if you strafe... If you don't jump, you'll get ramp bugs. So you could go faster, but you've got like a 1 in 10,000 chance of not getting a ramp bug. Is he actually jumping down here to avoid ramp bugs as well? Well, I didn't think it'd be that bad. But I know, you, yeah. It's uh, it's awkward. This bit's strange, not quite sure what you do here. Jumping to avoid ramp bugs. It is just ramp bug avoidance. I might give it another go at some point. Because it was a pretty fun map. It was just... I just got fed up of uh, avoiding ramp bugs. And then I got one good run. That was... Ha had some potential. And... It just got stuffed up by general things. Three Skyvano videos. Uh, I'm not going to do them in a row, just on the basis that it's I've queued everything. There we go, there's a ramp bug. There's another one. You see just how awful it is. You're just hoping. How high is this going to go on here? Okay, yeah, that was about what I was doing. Getting to that ramp and then going up there. So there's definitely... There's a lot of these that are going to have a lot of time saved to be made. Nice ramping up. Got a ramp bug here and fell all the way down to the bottom is what happened on my good run. I went for a jump, ramp bugged, just as I was about to flick off of that second to last ramp. And it just sent me all the way down to the bottom. I just went, sod it. <laughs> Quit out. <laughs> nah, not having it. Ramp bug avoidance. The video game. Slicking it all the way to the finish. And boom. Good time. Good time. Definitely improvable, but it's whether you've got the patience to do it. 522 did improve it by a few seconds, actually, two weeks ago. So we'll see that a little bit later in the, uh, in the stream. Now for president... Imagine slick bug fixed, I know. This map's got so many weird routes and stuff. I honestly I've got no idea how you get around it. Apparently like that though. Ooh, amnesia just missing out on that record. Decent map, but just like a bit of a mess at the same time. 
Next up, Effect Pakistan, J-Height. A weapon map. Required a hell of a plasma climb. Or a Hagar climb. Weapon switching. Always love a bit of weapon switching. And across the line. That's a pretty decent map, actually. I like that. I might give that one a go. Might try and beat it. Got a minus one rating, but hey, we'll give it a go. Might have a minus one rating by someone who didn't complete the map, to be fair. You never know. Been a record by Mirio from five months ago. Quite handily. Two seconds. Lovely time. Lovely, lovely, lovely time. Back over to Bug83 with Malice. Um, he shaved a couple of seconds off his time. I am going to skip through this one just because we've seen it already and it's only a few seconds shaved. And we saw it all in full anyway. So I'm just going to skip through this one because I am slightly conscious that I am 30 videos in and almost an hour in. And that I'm probably in it for like seven hours. We'll see how we go. I haven't moved it. My internet's just crapped out on me. Nice bounce. Definitely some time to be saved by just getting good at the uh, at bouncing up the stairs. Also, again, rip bit rate. Nice run all the way around. It's just going to be a slightly bit cleaner, you know. We'll have a look how much time was saved. Oh, we can't see because Malice obviously beat his own time. But, yeah, a little bit of time's going to have been saved. Just in general, little bits and bobs. Lovely bit of running through here. Imagine getting to the end of a run and you just clip one of these uh, little what sets. Those little sticky uppy yellow bits. Check the previous title. Effect Pakistan JH Height 1421. Be a difficult stream. Yeah, it's correct. Oh, the time of the previous run. Oh, yeah, I can check the time. Sorry. Berg 83, 250, so we've gained a second. Three seconds, sorry. Bad maths. Yeah, three seconds. Next up, R7 Moon. Not set by Moon, but set by Sarpent. Oh, this map. I've got a decent time on this map. I think. I was in this game. I remember when he set this record. Actually. There I am! Look, I'm there! I was there right at the end. I think I set my I set my good time right as he set that time. He was grinding for a while to try and get this uh, sub. Sub time. Yeah, there I am, 26. That's good for me. Cool. Next up, Love It Doania, 
fix by amnesia big long strafe map tight angles good strafing and across the line claim your zon coins claim your zon coins oops nice times lot set two weeks ago that was a wow that was a filled game that was a filled game when this map was uh was in Oh shit, what's happened there then? Rip video. Mm, okay, <laughs> great. That one. I don't know why that just decided to unhook and change uh, what it was, but cool. Uh, I guess we'll rewatch that one then. Thank you for spotting that. Technical difficulties of using YouTube. Boom. They are. Zon coins and all that. There's your records. Boom. Massive game. Next. Cota Race 19 by Mirio. Oh, this one. Yeah. So we've seen this one before. Very tight, difficult strafe through this sewers. We are getting very nice. And the Zon coin gem. No one's got any Zon coins on this map. Oh, he hit his head when he went up there. Definitely, you can probably do that in quite a lot less rocketry. Mirror is sick. Wow. Loads of Zong coins to be had. Next up, we've got Skyveno with Jaska. 41.04. We watched this map last week and I had to skip through tons of it. And then, um, well, this happened. And there's, there's a couple of tricks in this that I quite liked. Specifically that one to get a skip by respawning, abusing where you respawn. But it's a little bit, it's off one of these. There's another respawn one, I think. It's off of one of these trees. Yeah, here. Jumping into the ether to get that respawn and then just straight over into the finish. Very nice. Apparently there's a few more time saves on that one. Up oh, Vno. Going to be skipping through this one a little bit. We saw this one last week. Saw this one full fair bit. They could damage. Wow. So on mod Minecraft or Mind Test Gear is anotic movement physics. There is Quake 3 movement physics um, mod for Minecraft. Definitely for Minecraft, potentially for Mind Test. You'd have to have a look. But yeah, definitely for Minecraft, there's a Quake 3 movement mod. Oh, is it specifically CPM physics? What I want to see is someone work on a mind test mod that actually does decent parkour. Because there's one, but it's pretty difficult to do anything with. And it doesn't work on multiplayer either, I don't think. But like, checkpoints, respawn points and stuff like that. Because the microphones are cool. 
Like you just click on a sign and stuff to set your checkpoints, but having um, having other stuff because they cut they have to do a click on a sign rather than like pressure plate because if someone's already stood on the pressure plate, you're kinda sol. Yeah, so here I suppose you jump onto those slime blocks there, and they'd bounce you back upwards. So yeah, there's d yeah, pretty nice. <laughs> the amount of bonks hurts to see. Well, get a better run then. It's interesting to see the routing because you wouldn't be able to do the cactus jump in Minecraft because you'd take a, a hit and that would slow you down and make it probably difficult or impossible to um, to make that. Nice time though. Beating out, uh, I believe we did see Iron Aminos last month. Uh, beating that one. Nice time, nice improvement. Next up, mod comp. By Akimoli. That's a nice, um, nice combo map. And across the line, beautiful, beautiful play. Good map, I like that one actually. I like that one a lot. Mm. I have to make note of that in a secret file. Anyway, yeah. There's the Akimoli record. Good time. Good time. Good improvement. And onwards we go. Got a 5-2-2 record on bug 11 RL. This one could have been mine, but I just had to say... Send send them a message saying I got a record because I had this for about three seconds. And then they joined the server and absolutely destroyed it. And I was just too heartbroken and shattered to be able to uh be able to take it back. I definitely could have at the time. I don't think I could take the record now. But this one I think I could have beaten. Or either this one or the one that was set before this one. I think it could have beaten this one. Yeah, it's a very bright map. It's a very bright map. You know when we suggest maps? We can suggest settings. Could we suggest, like, ambience? <laughs> could we say, like, yeah... Could you set whatever the R underscore ambient that someone has set? Just like turn it down by five. That would help a ton. Yeah, I definitely could have beaten that one. Ah, uh, my heart. Freestyler, Baraki Molly. That's oh, sick, it's like Tony Hawk's. Oh, this map's... So this is very cool, but at the same time... Um, in... Wait, this might be a Xenotic-specific map, because Quake 3 checkpoints are optional, aren't they? So you just go straight to the finish. But it, checkpoint order's optional in, um, in Xenotic, isn't it? So you could go anywhere. Oh, wow, that's a lot of records. Three minutes to finish it, but a lot of records for <laughs> Zonny Hawk Pro later. You've just got all these. Oh, so you can choose any weapon, but like he's chosen. Yeah. Where's you got to pick him up? Don't know. Freestyle, pretty sick. Oh yeah, of course you got frags. Yeah. I remember that one from last year's Q3DF. 
Us as challenge one. Absolutely ridiculous. That map's been so broken by 5-2-2. Who we see in second place here. Good time. Good time. Saw that a little bit last week. Cody Race 20. By Mirio. Uh, we've seen this map already. It's a fairly standard pad strafe map for a bit. And then there's some weird stuff at the end. Get the key. Make sure you get the key. Then falling down here, gravity flip. Gravity flip. Gravity flip. Okay, yeah, yeah. Make sure. Oh, what? What? Wait, you don't actually have to land on. <laughs> I don't think you have to land on those pads in some places. And a lovely time and puts you back to the finish perfectly. No zone coins for anyone on that map. Beautiful, beautiful run from Mirio. Another Mirio record. Another Kota. Kota race 18. Bot Mirio. Let's see where he goes. Oh, wow. It's an early run then if he's uh, going that fast. Did he gain much time from that? Let's have a look. So he comes out here. He's five... He hits it. I guess it opens it, or it takes a checkpoint by hitting it. Right. Hitting it takes a checkpoint. Not quite as smooth as Kota, but he did get over the end straight away rather than having to wait. Round the confusing corners. And then into the Stanley Parable. Chat beeps are on. Yep, you can't see the chat. Beautiful. Nicely across the finish line. Any mink? Any zone coins? Ah, Gloom's got a zone coin. It's fine. Beep. Long one here. We've got Goodvino. Dr. Jaska. Oh, nice. Nice little cut there. We probably should tell Mara about chat beeps, yeah. It's probably just us lot talking shit in chat. <laughs> it usually is. There's a reason the chat isn't on. You never know what people are going to be talking about. You don't want video with world record with what we're talking about half the time on these servers. It's good. Join us. <laughs> Yeah, 100% cursed topics guaranteed. That was smooth. That was very smooth. Love how the lighting looks like a 2011 shader. It's my favourite bit about this. Do you just have to wait for this to switch? Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Sub three minute time later. Cool. We're watching the whole thing then. Then we'll get through to it later. <laughs> pew pew pew. Doors opening. Doors getting stuck. It walls. Oh, uh, invisible mazes. Yeah. I like how this map is, like, super separated into rooms. Like, very fast, very small rooms. 522 on the weapon test map next up. Let's go. 
bugging it out for billions of speed and then boom straight <laughs> that's it boom done that was easy next LTDF comp 001 by Akimoli oh nice getting under there that was oh wow now that's clean that's clean rocketry super good combo map forcing these combos and forcing slick use probably a map I can't even complete but very nice run very nice run oh yeah I'm supposed to be opening these aren't I yeah actually has all of those weapons in it actually used I'll leave us a minus one well and it's on hardcore, so usually people who are on there know, you know, know what they're doing rather than, uh, oh, I can probably complete it if there's this many completions, yeah. Yeah, hard maps on um, relaxed running tend to get downvoted, but. CCC slick by nature. Oh, that was really good wall strafe. Again, no jump, just about making it. Boom. Take out collapses. Nice time there. Taking out Riffo, the one we saw earlier. Collapses having the best uh, best high speed. Very nice. Slavno next up by Jaska. Do you just go on a no hunting map? I remember you saying like sort of the beginning of this month that you were going to. And then I sort of didn't see any of them. Because I only get, rec I get recommended these videos randomly because I watch them all. Uh, and then next, during the next month, YouTube's like, you really want to see this because you just watch like four hours of this guy. You really want to see every video. And it slowly but surely goes down with the amount. Um, the amount of time that I wait because I'm not subscribed to the channel I am on my uh, on my video dumping account I'm subscribed but I'm not subscribed on my main account because yeah nah <laughs> too many videos This is clean. This is, like, really clean. Oh, right, you asked for a ton of maps to be added and then just, yeah, work your way through. Nice time, nice time, very clean. Please load. Come on, YouTube. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, we're moving on to Rovno. We're not looking at the records or anything. Sod it. I think it was a six minute time from nature earlier that we saw. Multiple people on the maps though. That's good. That guy potentially asking, I've, I've definitely done it before. You stood around, you're asking in chat where the hell do I go? And uh, then someone's like, walk forwards <laughs> and go go there. Like, shit, I'm stupid. Hmm. Look like a tricky map. It was clean. It was clean. I've been considering giving these a go because, like, Minecraft parkour was my introduction to defrag, kinda. Or to the, to the, I was playing Xenotic, realised I wasn't enjoying Duel anymore, realised that I liked the movement, and then for some reason, instead of just going and playing Defrag, um, which I'd been playing like a little bit of, I decided to go and play Minecraft Parkour. 
And that's what made me go, I should play Defrag instead of Synotic and then going, I really like this movement. I'm going to go play this other game. Like, hmm. Yes. I'm surprised I never tried Bunny Track, to be fair. In that whole try to work out what it was about the first person shooters I liked because it definitely wasn't the shooting at the time. But I was like, still just really wanted to play them. And I'm like, okay, it's, yeah, it's the movement. So if you're not too much of a keen fan of shooting, do try uh, Defrag. Potentially not a map like this. You might enjoy this, you know. Definitely people who enjoy difficult to complete maps, but there's also people who enjoy just racing against themselves and sometimes the easy maps are difficult to complete you know for me this would be very difficult to complete map but then there's some maps that are quite easy for people like jaska who is a challenge map i'll definitely say jaska's a challenge more of a challenge map beta than uh like pure grinder on the easy maps whereas someone like riffo's like just going to smash through something. Play it a thousand times to knock a point one off of it. But it's good that we've got both in there. In the game. You know. Options for both. Nice. Nice improvement. Nice time. Knocking a good chunk off of nature's time, half in it nearly. But also halved Mirio's time. So half, half, half. Beautiful. Next up, we've got exactly what I was talking about. Nero on Cool NE. Guys that just uh, like that grind. So that's where you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I took a completely different route the, to this. I was like, why am I so far off the pace? Because my route was bad. I've just seen like two just major shorter routes. Yeah. Sometimes I like frame grinding strafe, but I don't think I'd like frame grinding strafe at this like world record level. I don't mind frame grinding strafe against myself, but I think if I had to push it further, maybe eventually, you know, just over natural time of improving, I'll get there. But probably not. I do want to do some, but I also don't really do many big clear things. I do want to do some though. I keep saying I'll do the Venos. I keep saying I'll do, I've been saying for about two years, I'll do R7 Climb World, but still haven't. Yeah, that is um, time for me. Not bad. Nice time. Venero. What a lovely day it is. What a lovely day. What a lovely day, Slick. Did somebody forget to submit this map with SV Friction Zero? What the fuck? What the fuck? All right. <laughs> it's been here long enough. It's definitely been around long enough, but... Okay. I have a feeling someone might have found a cut roughly that long ago. That's strange. Oh, well. This is note by Jaska. I'm going to get to watch this whole thing all the way through. I do definitely think I'm going to have to do this in two, maybe even three sessions. But we'll get through it. Clean around here. 
This is the map we saw Kota on earlier, and we saw Kota like really carefully taking around each of these sections. The sections where you'd normally just easily be able to crouch in Minecraft, but that doesn't work because crouch doesn't stop you from falling off of off of things in Zenotic. It slows you down, so you can, you know, you are a little bit easier to control, but you still got this sort of floaty, grabby movement. That's the only thing that saves you, really, is if you do fall off, you can generally grab back onto the ledge you were on. But... Oh, that was nice through there. But you can just... Oh. Oh, right, yeah, so you don't die. You uh, you can walk on the lava. You don't just immediately die. Because, yeah, checkpoint respawns. Nice. Jumping up. Oh, you, is that a like head bonk double jump thing? I didn't know they existed in this. We're out back into the overworld. Oh, go on. Hey. It's a very clean run. Very clean run. It's great seeing, like, watching these uh, these difficult maps get cleaner and cleaner through through the weeks. Oh, it's unoptimized, yeah, but it's... It's fairly clean. Like we, the the record we saw. This is definitely the Kota map, and that was thirteen minutes, I think. And like he spent ten seconds trying to jump through that hole you've just gone through, and you just did it second try. Like it's super. Just having done most of that first or second try. But yeah, you're, you're the only two people that have finished the map. So yeah. Back over to Liqua. Nature picking up a nice record on this one. Beautiful. Beautiful and clean and shaves a teeny tiny little bit of time off. Oh, actually, a fair bit of time. No, it was only his own record that he shaved a tiny bit of time off. That was a fairly big bit of time shaved off there. Nice. Nice time. Nice time. Next up, we've got Mirio Colors Slick by Nature. This is a good map. Good, A good slick map. As much as I don't like full slick much. Oh, that's how you do it. I was kind of flicking off the bottom getting to the top. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, there's a lot of finishes on this one. I think 200, probably over 200. Yeah, 201. Just about 200. Nice. Yeah, popular map, decent map. There's my time, 26th. Not huge, but pretty good. It's a good, it's a good map. Good short, slick map. Over onto DRM Breaker now then with Stra. Just get into the perfect position. Oh yeah, we saw this map last month. Boom, 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 boom. Steady slick and then just a little flick at the end. Lose as little speed as possible. Through, 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 through. Beautiful and across the line. Taking that record three weeks ago, Nature, just a couple of days earlier, took that record from Juhu from eight months ago. Level E. Wub KZ2 next up. By Jessica. 
Tricky little map. Uh, oh, that's clean. Oh, that was clean. Definitely some optimizations happened on this one. Some cuts. Some sneaky bits. A very nice time there. Breaking a Juhu record from a year ago. XK Gloom. I've not seen XK Gloom on. He's only play um, hardcore parkour. Or just plays at times where I'm not on. Bug 11 Slick next up. Clasps. Love the diagonal. Oh, beautiful jump there. Just barely nicking the bottom of that. Uh, that ramp. Lovely. Losing as little speed as possible around these corners. Then now time for the weird bit. Oh, frustration. It's the next room that's very weird with slick where it's actually ends up being uh, bunny hopped here, I think. Yeah, so instead of slicking, you're actually bunny hopping up here. Because uh, you don't want them ramp bugs. <laughs> Love the waiting just there. You just bounce pad, bounce pad. And hopefully we don't get a down ramp bug on this. We shouldn't because it's slick on here. Nice time. Nearly a sub minute. I think it probably can be pushed to the sub minute by the looks of things. But definitely a good improvement over the times we've seen before from uh, nature. Oh no, we didn't see nature. Wait, clasps improved that time probably? Oh yeah, one three. Yeah, okay. Maybe we can't push it below a minute. I was going to say there's a second to save off of this one. Uh, we haven't seen that. We'll see when that one comes up. Later on, oh, oh, no, no, it's a different one. Never mind. Bug 71 slick. Is that one above? A bug 11, that's it. Very close, very close. Very nice. Oh, that was clean. That was, that was pretty clean. Probably a few bit, uh, yep, a few tenths to save. Class is getting ever closer. Bug 11 regular by Amnesia. This one hopefully no ramp bug at the end. And a little bit better of... I can't remember exactly where it was. That was definitely better. Cutting more of that corner. Can't remember where the other hit was now. But there was another hit that was... Uh, just kind of a combination of bad spacing and stuff like that. The very end has stairs, but on the fall down, when you fall down, not here, but the fall down um, where you slide against all of the pads and it kind of goes round in a circle. There was a... Boy... Nicely through there. I think it was just there. I think on that bounce pad he had to stop. He didn't, didn't get out cleanly. Or here was a bit bad getting on the bounce pad. Maybe. One of those two. Yeah, just here. Falling down in the last record. He clipped on that second one. And just completely died. Just like no speed. Just bug, ramp bug on the fall down. It sucked, <laughs> but hey, he was able to come back, take the record again. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, next up, U1P Combo Rum 4 by Jaska. A nice combo map. I assume that we can't do anything with those pummel hits. 
like we you can't just shoot them, can you? Or can you slap? Maybe. Oh, secondary rocket, uh, secondary, secondary grenade fire. Nice. Infinite ammo on all these weapons, I assume. The original doesn't, but you have a better chance with the original. Oh, nicely through. Nice. Nice time. Beating out Amino, we saw last month. Arum land fixed by Jasker again. One minute time on a rocket map. Oh, this, yeah, that looks, that's, uh, <laughs> spacing central right here. But not just spacing your jumps, also spacing your, uh, your rockets to make sure that you've got rockets in the right place and in some sections, the reload. Not reload, but uh, cool shot cooldown and all that. Rate of fire and all that comes through. Oh, nice, a combo map. And now I'm completely disoriented. It feels like the roof is right there. Nice flight, nicely through. Oh, wow. Just about able to make it through the spacing there. Nice. Nice run. Beating a five month old record. Getting through some. Very nice. Mandarin run six. Uh, again by Jaska. Looks like it's going to be a pretty tricky pad strafe map. Just. Wiggling back and forth. Nice. Very pretty. Very pretty little bits. Nice bit of time save over PB. And across the line. Good time. Good time. Eating an ambient from six months ago. Very nice. Uh, 0.4 time save. 0.04 even. Another Dr. Jaska record. This time on SMC07 Springy. Definitely Springy. Definitely Springy. Good bit of springing about. Good time. Six month Malice record being beaten just there. Right. Next one. We have uh, Fueled by Riffo. Oh, slick combo. Nice. Just not using that rocket launcher. Don't need it. Ah, uh, boom, boom, boom. Yeah. Nice time. Makes sense not using the rocket launcher, just using the uh, cryolink to get up. Very nice time. Amnesia coming in. That record would have beaten the three years old Donald record. A lot of old records falling. A lot of old records falling. R7 Beyond. Long map. We'll scroll through it. Skip through bits of it. Just like take chunks. Apologies. Do go watch these original records if you are interested in some of the longer records. Uh, the link to Mara's channel will be in the description and all that. So yeah, definitely, uh, definitely check the originals out for the longer records. I just really don't have... <laughs> I could do it, but like a lot of these records end up getting beaten um, and falling below the three minute mark where I'm happy to watch them fall through. You know, if there's anything extra special that I specifically should watch in full, 
I will do. Like if there is a genuine like 20 minute map that's super super worth watching the whole thing of then I probably will. Probably will give it a watch. Maybe not with this, maybe separate video. But specifically this stuff. We'll skip through bits of it. That seems to be pretty clean. Wow. I didn't even know we had that. <laughs> I suppose to be fair, I've only ever seen the LG in one uh, one defrag map. So, yeah. Makes sense. I didn't know we had it in Zenotic. It seems more likely if you're using that, you're probably using things that just break in the Zenotic version anyway. Oh, wow, that was incredible speed getting up there. If to hit every route, is there like a checkpoint or something? <laughs> Reason we're hitting every roof. Oh, I hate these pillars. I hate pillars just like that. Nine minute twenty six hang time two. Yeah, that's an actual like. Cause I know the actual hang time runs about that long. The Quake Three actual one. Nice. Next one up. I want to be the Decree. Yeah, the CPM Rex six twenty eight. That's that nine minute run actually pretty legit then. Oh god this This was just so difficult. I, I have haven't beaten this, I just physically couldn't manage to get through. Where did I get stuck? I could do this, I did that. Here? No, it wasn't here. Yeah, I just about got through this after a few tries. This bit was, for some reason, this bit really stumped me. I'm not sure if I, I didn't complete that bit. How did that bit stump me? Surely I should be able to do that. I reckon I can complete this map. I might give it a go. No, I can't complete this map. <laughs> I, pro I probably can. I probably can complete this map. I might give it a go. I find it really difficult to see these little beams. And figure out where to land. I always seem to land a bit too far over the front of them. Great run from there. From Jaska. Beating an old record from uh, Vert. Very nice time. Bug 11 RL. By 522. You can definitely get a rocket down in uh, fit in there. Oh, nice, nicely done, nicely done. Still super bright. Yeah, I think I will give it a go. I need to find a, a few like decent challenge maps because I play most weapons maps in uh, Quake Three D. Frag end up being challenge maps for me. <laughs> They honestly, like, those S uh, SDC UK maps, they were completely challenge maps. When I played it, um, HGB, the one that I used in the how to do maps tutorial, that one was, like, pure difficulty for me when I first played it. And we got a ramp bug. Beautiful. Nicely across the line. A little bit of time save possible on that one. Oh, yeah. Time save has happened. I was like, five days ago? What? <laughs> that shouldn't be in here. Yeah, it's just in January, but I don't think we're going to get the uh, get the records out of that one. Nice time. Wolverno by Jaska. Oh, 
I have played a very similar to this uh, Minecraft parkour map. And it wasn't quite Minecraft. It was, well, it wasn't a Minecraft parkour map in that sense. It was literally one of those like lobby parkours. Not specifically designed for parkour. Well, it, you know, it was, but the server wasn't specifically parkour. I, but I played it uh, while waiting for friends to join, I think. Potentially mine Z. I could be wrong. It could have also... It was some sort of PvP thing, though. So, yeah, I played it while waiting for friends to join. But I know it wasn't a, an actual, like... Proper parkour thing. Difficult though. I remember it being pretty difficult. Nice clean movement. Let's skip ahead a bit. Hopefully I'm not... I'm, I am just aimlessly skipping. Like I, I don't know most of these records. So there's, and I don't know the maps either, so I'm hoping that I haven't just like skipped the good bit. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, one of those wall map. One of those wall maps. Yeah, it is a wall map. Duh. One of those challenge maps where once you've completed it once, I think you you either go through for a clean completion or you kind of. I doubt that anyone would really push this too much. And that certainly is how at least I experienced Minecraft parkour. I did try doing some challenges and going a bit faster than I had done. But for the most part, like, it was like, yeah, I completed it. Cool. On to the next harder challenge, you know. Or onto a different of the same level of challenge. Looks well made, though. It's interesting if, if these really, like... These do seem to be, yeah, definitely made for Minecraft. Now I'm looking into them a bit closer and seeing how it could be done. Oh, another R7 Beyond record, very slightly different. What, an R7 Beyond or... Um, what was the one? Wolverno. I forgot to look at the leaderboard, sorry. Huh. Pretty nice. World's only completion. You and whoever's beaten it in Minecraft. You never know with those, though. They could have, like, um... Because Minecraft, some servers have auto-checkpoint, and some have... Or, not auto-checkpoint, but, um... Checkpoint anywhere. You just right-click an item in your inventory, and it... Uh... Gets you on. Snow to declare. 15. Oh, is that four? Four minutes. What was your time? You beat him. Did Snow do it in um, in VQ3? Snow mostly plays VQ3, doesn't he? So I'd assume that Snow. Oh, that was a lot better than last time. Last time you sort of didn't even know to use it. <laughs> From... <laughs> cool. <laughs> Actually, this time, got some good speed out of it. Yeah, Snow did it in VQ3. That's that's pretty impressive, though. I know it's a straight line thing, but... 
that map in VQ3 for each of the turning rounds is going to be really difficult. Yeah, definitely deja vu with that. I was like, did I, I literally had to scroll down. That was what I scrolled down for. I was like, did I go up in the list by mistake? Did I accidentally go up because you've literally just hit the same wall? <laughs> Bang on. Nice time though. Good time. Kota race 19. Another record on this one. It's a good Kota race. Trying to get the down ramps off of the side ramps and uh, get through these corners cleanly. Weird, uh, what's it, teleporters. And up here, surely we got, yes, we finally get a smooth non-head bonking up to the top. And a great time from 2337. Who still has a world record now? Good time, good time, good time, good time. Iron Amino on Skyvno. Morrow fixed in-game name changes applying to record database. Well, so it doesn't or it does. So is, are some people stuck with fake necks forever because they chose to use a fake neck? Oh, it does change now, right. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see. Because, yeah, I was like... Nice time. Nice time there. Back on another Jaska time, but now with... Uh, in-game name change active. Oh shit. No fallback font though. Down here in the corner underneath the name should be the, uh, the map name should be the player name. I'm gonna get to watch through the whole of this good no run. The 69th record that we're watching this month. Very nice. Should definitely be proud of that. <laughs> I should ask Morrow that. <laughs> I asked Morrow for the information, like how many records were set this month and all of that. And he was like, yeah, if any more information, just ask me. And uh, <laughs> who set the 69th record? <laughs> That's all we need to know. Who set the 69th? Because this won't be the 69th record. This is the 69th video. But it also won't be the 69th record for the month because of me doing these slightly outdated you know, taking the um, uh, yeah, taking the video date to upload date rather than the actual record setting date because it's just easier. Good clean run. Haven't seen too many fails. Definitely some uh, like stops and slowdowns, but other than that, there's not been any sort of major major fall downs or anything. 
But yeah, stuff like that, but not too much of that. Nice and clean. That was close. <laughs> I knew it was coming. I just needed the example. Just need the example of what I meant. Wonderful of you to provide it for me. I like that finish line. Zoc 24 Slick. That three minute map of uh, bug avoidance. <laughs> so much bug avoidance from 522 here. He must have got zero bugs because that was a very weird section there. He uh, missed that down ramp completely. And it's not like a particularly buggy down ramp. But yeah, this bit's buggy. So jump that bit. And then be damn careful here. Going so fast, he just doesn't... Oh, do you not ramp bug if you're just going perfectly straight? Is that a thing? So by gaining a ton of speed and then just kind of leaving it, or have they just not? Have they just got very lucky there? Like if you just let go of the keyboard, you just don't ramp bug. Good wall strafe in there. Going to get up pretty high here. Difficult. You're always going to kind of fall there. Slowing down to a reasonable speed. This is actually regular strafing because of the um, regular strafing and hopping. It looks like you're still on the ground, but yeah, you just don't want to ramp bug. Here's where um, Amnesia got a ramp bug just before the top of this. Then avoiding that fall down that Amnesia also got here. Very nice. Oh, no, good cut there. Oh, bonk. Never mind. Never mind. Tricky avoidance of uh, any ramp bugs. It really is just ramp bug avoidance map. Which is sad because it does look pretty good otherwise. But I think it it only works in slick really. It's no way that this works in strafe. Video order is date uploaded. Oldest first. But it seems like Morrow uploads the videos. If he does a batch upload of multiple days. They seem to be uploaded. Newest first in upload order. Which means that sometimes I'll skip a day and stuff like that. And then go backwards for a day while the uploads of that day come out. And such like that. Cool FP by Amnesia. Good strafe map. Back on some of these grindy strafe maps. It's interesting that we, we mostly play these grindy strafe maps. But of course the world record gets beaten so rarely on these sort of frame hunting strafe maps that we uh we aren't going to see them all that much compared to the either new maps or not frame hunty ones like the venos where you've actually got a good chance at beating a record oh shit mario dream 2 Ignatus getting the record on this one. Have I played this map? I feel like I have, but at the same time, I can't quite remember it. Oh, yes, I have. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I keep falling down that hole. And then, yeah, because the the ramp and then, yeah. 
classic Mirio map. A little bit weird, but at the same time not entirely out of the ordinary. Nice six month record from Nero falling, some older records knocking around. Good time set, J JHI getting a getting a good time in there for sixth place. Very nice. Back on a record we saw earlier. Love it. Dizzy Murray, Sulfur and Mac. Yeah, they do. They do. We're seeing a lot of Mac Max records fall. I mean, Mac Max just been uh, a wolf since um, XDWC. Sulfur turned up for XDWC a bit. Murray, I've seen him playing QL Race. A little bit, but yeah, nice time. All from two weeks ago. <laughs> Except for that one that's three weeks ago. Because that record was set three weeks ago. Oh yeah, this is the map where it was just like, boom. Everyone played. All 27 people were in this one game. Right, Nup Slick. Short map. Oh, yep. Yeah, I remember this one. Oh, an interesting, a different route there. Going a little bit wider to gain a bit more speed. is going to really make a huge difference. That's compared to the last tra uh, last time we saw that one, which was Riffo in the second place here. Just 0.04 in it. You know, really not much. But great time. Hundredth and hundred and first and first. And the difference is... Three and a half seconds. Which on such a short map does make sense. I would have actually expected more there. If I guess less people played it. Uh, R7 Beyond is coming up. It is coming up. Pornstar Diabasso. Next map that is up. By probably Ecas. Because it's four. I'm going to say this is Ecas. Oh yeah I remember this. Spacing really difficult on this. Yeah, third video of the same record. Nice. Very nice time there. Classic unregistered player. Hey, Nature got a record, uh, got a third place record a few days ago. Nice time. Yep, was ECAS. <laughs> Incredible, I'm getting, rec getting good at recognising those. Um, yeah, Bug71 Slick up next with Clasps. And we're going to massively skip through the next track because I need to finish this recording exactly uh, two hours. So R7 Beyond, we've already seen it. Let's just skip through to where's the bit. Um... Just after here, this is the only important bit, remember. Is the bit just after here. Did you make the same mistake? Wait, it's exactly the same video? Or is it, it's a slightly different, it's a slightly improved record. Oh, for God's... Oh, so it's bugged. Oh, I might have added it three times then, or Morrow actually uploaded it. No, because I liked one of them. Uh, that's weird. Let's take a peek. Just to end off this uh, this section of the video. The video will be put together. But, yeah. R7 Beyond. Down a bit, R7 Beyond, 3688, 3688, yeah, it's exactly the same video multiple times. That is strange. Uh, that and the chat bug, we'll report them to Mirio, uh, not Mirio, it's the other guy, uh, Morrow. Interesting, see why that happened. Anyway, I'm going to end this recording, if you're watching it on YouTube you won't notice any difference, see ya. Welcome back, part two, out of many. Let's go. Mario, I want to be the deck crew. Again by Jaska.
Hopefully that wasn't too bad of a seamless thing for the uh, video. It has been an entire day for me. Yeah, we already saw a good run on this. Um, I think there was a couple of little mistakes. But... I'm watching this because I do want to finish this map. So I'm what I really want to see how he does it. That bit will just be confusing, but this bit should be good for me after a few tries. I'll probably fuck that up a couple of times. Still can't believe this was what I got stuck. Oh, they're slick, of course. That's why I got stuck on them, because they're slick. They're impossible to stop on. And then this shouldn't be too big of a deal. Because all I care about is completion. Then this bit. Tricky. But. Jaska managing to keep speed on each of them. Losing speed where he needs to I think. He's even gaining speed in places. And absolutely nailed. Beautiful, beautiful run. Very, very nice. Cool. Yeah, nice time. Beating his own old time. But, uh, can I skip? Will it go? What well, should be Wolverno. It is Wolverno. Cool. Gonna have to skip through this one, but yeah, we've already seen this one. Bit cleaner at the start, because he was taking a regular route last time, I think. As Jaska did say himself yesterday, pretty monotonous kind of grindy map. It is one of those where I'm not quite sure why he's done it twice. It turns out, by the way, those um, videos, the one where Jaska messed up in the same place three times in a row on R7 Beyond, actually just a bug in the upload system uh, that caused three videos to be uploaded for one map. So, whoops. Fix now though. Two of the videos have been uh, unlisted. So yeah. Yeah, very similar through the whole route on these main sections, just trying to be clean, really. I'm too sure this isn't the exact Wolverno map before and it's another one of those bugs. Was it? Yeah, it's exactly the same one. Never mind, we're skipping this one. <laughs> Jaska did that one, so uh, yeah. Top Vino. Hopefully, this one is a legit one. Yeah, I don't recognise this map, so must be a new one that we haven't even seen. Jaska was actually playing some. Oh, I think it was Up Vino yesterday um and yeah he's going for a good run he's got some decent paces decent run i had a quick go it's actually this it feels really good it it really does feel good um a lot of the minecraft maps don't but i think because it's a, a more trousy slower pace it feels really really good in um in zenotic whereas a lot of the faster like you're supposed to race like uh can't remember what the map's called now. There's a Minecraft one where you go out and back. It's just a big out and back on a grass field in a forest. Uh, very, like, Minecraft alpha sort of terrains. But it's really bad. <laughs> just because of the, like, you just hit the edges of blocks because it's almost your max jump height. But in this, it's not quite a block and a half you can jump up. Uh, which just makes it that little bit cleaner. And with double jumping, uh, you can hit a block and a half. And we now have, the, when this video is recorded, it doesn't work, but we now can actually use the slime blocks because uh, they give you as much speed as you fall down. We didn't have that in Zenotic. We now do have it. So look for potentially to new, loot, new routes. There's only one I can see from like a, a very... I mean, I gave it a very brief glance on up for now. I didn't even get halfway through, but um, I didn't really have any time. I just wanted to give it a go. Didn't have the time to finish it. But uh, yeah, 
I just wanted to see how it felt. That was basically it. I wanted to see how all this sort of doing this sort of stuff with the water, you fall in the water there and how that, fe oh, wait, that actually worked. Okay. I don't know if it did something else than using the actual slime blocks as they're intended or what, but yeah. Interesting route there. Back down. Nicely done. I'm going to have to look up. I should have looked up yesterday other Vino maps. Um, what they are in Minecraft. Had a look what the world record was for Minecraft. Had a look. Sort of how we're looking compared to them. Very clean, very nice time. Um, I think only for maps where I know there's been good competition am I going to actually look at the history. I know there hasn't on that one. We will look at the history of this map though. So we are in... Oh, fucking hell. I forgot to press the button. Um, we are Ingus by Amnesia. It's a good map. Uh, although the bounce pad's broken, but I think we're fixing the bounce pad now. So the bounce pad doesn't give you enough speed. You only just make it. Whereas in Quake 3, you can literally, like, fucking whatever it. It is annoying that it's broken. But, boom. Sick across the line. Yeah, a few times set, that was the time that uh, he would have been beating, I believe. Uh, 36, yeah. So he would have been beating this time by, um... Oh no, beat his own time there, I guess. Yeah, beat his own time there. Amnesia. So he would have been beating that time. But yeah, fairly new map. My time is absolute dog shit. Uh, I should improve it, because I can very easily improve that. But yeah, good run. Good, clean run. Go to race 18. XK Gloom. This is one that I really... Uh... Is this the one? Yes, this is the one I really quite like the idea of this. Shoot the checkpoint. And then... Um... Yeah, I think Kota maps... These ones seem to have like really good elements. But you definitely want... You want more. You want more, but there's definitely good elements here. A massive improvement over the old PB that was set on this run, and that's world record. Nice big old world record there. Yep. Claiming the Zong coin. Claiming the record. Very, very nice. Another Kota race now. Kota race 16, this time by 244. We didn't see this one. This is the first one that we saw. What the hell? We're going to have to go through. Must read. You use or hold bind space to accept selected. Binds A and D to select something. So jump, because I don't even have that. So jump and left and right. Now select start or test. Now let's play it back at 0.25 speed. So we selected test mode. Nice, you'll test all features that will appear. Oh, fuck. Appear. If you'd select start playing, press space to start. Question one. Yes or no. The answer is yes. Select the boost. We select jump. It's all what you needed to know. Dot press space to come back to the main menu. 
The time has not even started, apparently. Ah, you so you do you test to set everything up. So now we're going to press start. We go. The timer starts. Question: What did you complete at least one race? Yes. Do you like race? Yes, we do. Select the best color. Apparently, green is the best color. Select your instrument. Keyboard. Yep. Yeah. Write a word. World. W is already there. Now we're selecting various things. I have no idea what we're pressing here. Honestly, I'm just going to watch it at slow speed. We're somehow just selecting stuff. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous that that's a thing. But yeah. Cool. I do like the idea. I don't think I like the map. But that's an incredibly cool idea. Yeah. All right. Got Ecas on um, Mui Miracle. Oh, this map now works. With we've got uh, the boost pads, so this map actually works. This record was set pre boost pads working. So this record will come down. I'm not sure if that'll be this month, for January, or whether it'll be February. I'm not sure quite when we got that in. Can't remember, even though it's only a few days ago. Yeah, pretty simple strafe map. You use the red at the start as a boost panel and then just boom, boom, boom. Then here's the difficult bit, getting the spacing and getting a... Oh, just purposefully falling in as soon as possible there. Apparently you can't make it then. World record strat to purposefully fail. And then just clean to the end. Yeah, let's have a look. Okay, so we might see it. We might see it with Nero getting a record on the 29th. When was my record set? Because that's the day that all this stuff came out. Yeah, the 29th. So we might get it this month. We might have to wait till next month to, uh, to see it. Cool. Next up, we have Akimoli with IFX Pred VQ3. Which didn't work in CPM then. But it's a com weapon combo map, which is cool. Beautiful blasted through to the finish. They always look absolutely mad weapon combo maps, but especially ones with the BFG slash Crylink. But they are very cool. Next up, we've got Four Black Sheep by Riffo. A uh, slick map. Classic for Riffo. Oh, apparently we've got booster launchers to start us off at 2,000 ups. Ducking and diving. Oh, ducking and diving, dodging and weaving. Ducking and diving, dodging and weaving. My internet's decided to crap itself, so we've only got really low quality to start with. That's clean. That's clean. That's fast. Oh, that's the wrong one. SPR ADR. Aikas, a strafe map. Get it down the side. Fitting through the back. Oh, I think I've played this map. Yeah, I, it, very heavily rooting, and I've got no idea where I'm going. Oh, beautiful jump to the finish there. Taking out clasps. Be a decent one to have a look at the record set of. Yeah, I've played it, I've not finished it, I got lost, I think. <laughs> very nice, very nice time. More new maps, more new maps that came in within the month, or oh, two days ago, new record even. 
that's not this one. Not the one we've just watched. Uh, that's this record by yeah, Ecas we watched. Very nice. Very, very nice. Cool Liths by Clasps. Technical strafe there. Can we get like a bit higher quality? Seven, oh, it's annoying, it's 72060. 72030 would be perfect. Looks very smooth on my end, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's going to buffer because my internet is designed to be an absolute crapshoot recently. So we're going to have to go back to just auto and let it pick. Sorry about that. I'll try and find a plugin that lets me... Uh... Yeah, nice run from Claps is there. I'll try and find a plugin that lets me choose whatever I want. Good run. Clean run. Nice times. Nice times for everybody. Should get some more, uh, more runs. There's a lot of new maps. A really big number of new maps this month. Where are we going? Come on. Bug 11 RL by Cl Clasps. We uh, saw 522 on this map earlier. And now we see the record that we saw when we saw that record when we went over. Clasps managing to claim it. Getting an extra rocket for sure in there. Sorry about the brightness as well. That's a classic brightness thing on this map. Horror underscore app. Oh no, really? Okay, we can definitely sub if that's that's a major mistake. But a beautiful rocket stack. Very rarely seen thing in uh, in these demos, especially since most of them are strafe anyway. But yeah, very rarely seen. Great. Movement are oh, beautifully up there. Five two two took quite a few, like very um, what's the word? It's sort of staggered. I don't know. Oh, nicely done. I mean, that's the way to do it. That is definitely the correct way to do it from clasps there. Lovely. Five two two trying to fight back but not managing to get it. Yeah. Great time from class. I mean, that's very, very high, high numbers over everybody else. Next up, clasps again, bug 71, rocket launcher. Super crispy, super clean video in 240p. Love it. 240p and buffering. Very sorry about the terrible quality of these. Do watch them on Mario's channel. I mean, Mario Southfrost is on. Look it up on YouTube. There'll be a link in the description. Do take a look because you can watch them in like 4K, I think it does. I mean, 1440p, 60fps. So if you want to take a look at some of these records or some of the ones that are a little bit more, um, more longer. Back on Bug 11. Bug 11 slick this time. By Nature, the Aussie. Great player. Glad he's been taking a lot of records recently. We saw him one of the few players to be consistently top 20 every single week in XDWC. Um, while at the same time, like, yeah, Dizzy won everything. But Nature, oh, that's a, that's a bugger. Yeah, Nature was consistently top 20 every week. Five out of five, he was top 20. Which is great. Great to see. I think this is, yeah, so you, um, rather than slicking, it's actually better to bunny hop up there because you'll have too much speed to take the corner, but you're also more likely to ramp bug. Try, apparently we're supposed to try and get step ups to have less chance, uh, to have less airtime out the top. But, yeah. Good run there from nature. Clasps apparently knocks that time down quite significantly. Nature's going to take a few times off as well. 
Head over, Porn Star Bless by Riffo. There's a big pre run. We love a big pre run. We don't see the exact opposite. We absolutely hate big pre runs. Some people like them. I personally don't. <laughs> but they, uh, they do accomplish something, and that's faster and faster times. And that is a very nice sub 20. Has anybody else got a sub 20 on that? No, the only sub-20. Very, wow, that's almost a second. That's a big time difference between Kabla and Riffo. Good times being set there. Again, new map. So hopefully we'll see some more good times being set. Now on to a very long one, a 9 minute 15 second Glavno. I assume that he... Uh, that there's actually reset points on this and that when you fall off later on you get reset back to the start rather than this so it looks like a really good minecraft map but god if it's nine minutes in this what the hell is it going to be when you actually can't double jump all these and gain uh air strafing speed that's like a 20 minute minecraft parkour map skip it through though aha a straight upward bit, that's what I was trying to find. It's one by Jasker, by the way. Nicely does it, just very gently. Crouch held the entire time, his pinky finger must be absolutely... Oh my god, he nearly died. <laughs> There's definitely more risks you can take, of course. But Jaska's just going to take it safe. It's probably the only clear. We'll take a look while he uh, gets through this section. Yeah, only clear on the map. Definitely should give points for single clears, considering people have tried it. But I mean, he cleared it in 18 minutes and then cleared it in 9 minutes. He's the only guy that's cleared it, cleared it twice. So I do think that there should be points given out for that sort of map. Definitely go take a look at the whole of this if you've been enjoying Jaska's uh, runs. He said yesterday that every time he logs on to um, Hardcore Parkour, he gets a video. And it's true. It is very true. Nice running on this. See a bit of a try and find a different. This is yeah, this is different. This he should be able to just yeah, he's able to get a few jumps before he has to take the ladder. But it's still risky. There's, I mean, there's definitely massive amounts of room. But is anyone going to bother to push this sort of thing? Like uh, I don't know if there's the there's not really the want to push trial maps, you know, in this game specifically. A lot of, most people who play Zenotic are happy to just frame grind on uh, frame grind on the classics. I mean, every time we end up on um, the Quake 3D Frag World Cup 2017-4, I think it is. Um, great map, great introduction to strafe and slick, and you know all of that sort of stuff. It's a great great map with a lot of different routes, really well built. Love it. But why do we always end up voting for 240 minutes every time we get on that? And then no one, no one has the balls to unvote it down from 240. I did yesterday down to 120 when it was already at 100 minutes. But I'm fed up, I ain't getting. I want to play something else, please. We do have the new server, actually. I've completely forgot to speak about that yet, I think. I may have spoke about it yesterday, but uh, we have... RTG, respect the grind. 90 minute defaults, no end match vote, relaxed running map pool. Um, but yeah, longer games. So more for grinders, which is pretty cool. It means that relaxed running can be left to its own devices. You can end the match, you just have to select a new map, by the way. So if you do get uh, a map you don't want to play, you just have to v call next map. And you can extend the match time, 10 minute increments, I believe. 
but they're already 90 by default. You can't, I think you can't reduce match time, maybe. Um, it's a little bit weird. If you've got any suggestions, if you are playing it, you'd like to see different things, then do let uh, the admins know. Let, let someone know, Morrow. It's pretty cool that we've got a server like that. After we sort of had to figure out funding. To, uh, all that bullshit going on in the world. But fortunately, Mar is still able to put on the servers for us, which is great of him. Probably did watch quite a lot more than that than I needed to, but there we go. Brutal map. Indeed. Next up. We got Stammer Strafe Cave by uh, PSJ Amnesia. This is exactly what I was talking about. How people would like to grind shorter maps, 30 second maps. And frame grind them. I bet if we look, this is a very small improvement. Let's just say what the improvement is. No. Damn it. <laughs> it's used to the Mario Kart stuff where it always says what improvement there is. But there's too many improvements in this game. Too many maps. You can do it in Mario Kart, there's only 30. <laughs> 16, 32, 64. Too many now. Let's have a look what the uh, results are. Yeah, so we're gaining 0 0.03 versus Forever Last. Map added two weeks ago. Already got quite a lot of finishes. That's pretty good. Glad. Cool ROI. Will you get your return on investment? Oh yeah! I had the record on this map for a very short amount of time. Not long enough to get a record and not long enough to get a video, but a very short amount of time. Oh, that's a different route. I was going over the top. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Nice run, nice run. Let's see where my record stands. Oh. Well, I guess me, um, <laughs> I guess the records must have been wiped. Because I'm just not there. Oh. Sad. Never mind. I'll have to go set a decent time on it. I don't think I can beat that time. I was kind of fighting with Amnesia around the 21s, getting the first 21s. Next up, Cool Rapid One. Uh, pretty nice map with some confusing VQ3 options that confused a few people. If you go the other way from this uh, to the right, then you'll hit a wall because it's a VQ through route. So it's not CPM'd off. And there you are. Very swift, very smooth map. Just like we know from Cool. Hey, there I am. I got seventh. Damn. It's a good time. I need to stop saying such good times. People are thinking of what I'm doing. Cool Rapid 2 by Nero. Ah yes, this map as well. So exactly the same thing. <clears throat> if you go over to the one side then you will get stuck. But it's all about getting around that corner and getting a good bounce off of that. Continuing to carry your speed. Getting two ramp down ramps there. Two down ramps there. Then Oh, that's the route. Ooh. Yeah, I was going round that pillar. Most people were, I think. I suppose it depends a lot on spacing. But yeah, very nice time. Near we're improving towards the end of the month, but everybody else sticking around. There we have a hit 20th. A lot of players already on that map, though. It's a new map two weeks ago added. You know. And uh, yeah, we've already got 37 players, so. It's good. Nude Momentum 2 by Akimoli up next. Ah, uh, more 
more combo maps. I gotta watch all of Akim. Like Akimoli's an absolute beast for combo maps. I gotta talk to the guy and see what what are good combo maps because I do want to play some combo maps. I feel like these should be bounce pads, but they're not. So they may change in the future when we've actually got that set up. Let's see. Have we got limited ammo, or is it unlimited? There is most maps are limit unlimited ammo because that's the default. Yeah, nice being a Mac Mac record for a year ago. A few good players in there at the top. Very nice, very nice. Minus ten, like I I think hardcore parkour accidentally gets voted down because <laughs> that seems like a well made map, but I don't know. Maybe there's just some issues. Maybe some strange issues that I can't see from the record video because that sorted itself out. Cool ROIS by Mikan, the record. Sorry about the banging. My cable got caught. Or maybe this is the one I played. Ah, this is the one I played. This is the one I was going for record on. Yeah, slick version. But it's not full slick, it's just slick here. Yeah. Weird that there's two. Yes. Where am I on this one? 13th. Damn. <laughs> that was world record at one point. That record was world record at one point. Now I'm just being obliterated. Oh well. <laughs> Let's just get good. I have to just get good. Nice run there from Nicken. Special one up next on Racket Cove. A full rocket map with terrible bitrate to begin with. Nice spacing there. Not gaining any speed yet. I can't see anything where he's going. The bit rate's just letting me down completely. But looks good. Looks good from what I could see. Look at that speed record. Incredible. Good times. Good times. Good map. Clean rocketing. Next up, we've got Bug W4 by Claps. Just over a minute. Recognize this map? Lego. That's where we saw him fail just before the reset must have been. Or possibly here. Actually it could be anywhere. A lot of different places that uh that reset could come from. Nicely done. Catching the back of that ramp just about is he gonna get no just misses that down ramp. Gonna get this one? I think he might have just got that one. I think he might have just about got that one. Definitely got that one. Very clean. Losing only the amount of speed that was needed to lose. And now gaining all of that back. Coming through. Did he really not get the down run there? Either that or he lost a bit of speed just before he got it. Obvious cut right there. Then trying to keep it on the platform all the way to the finish. For a tasty world record. Nice time. Yep, brand new map week ago. 522 with the speed record. And uh, yes, yeah, pretty compacted times. Des got a good time in there. Hmm. Nice times. Nice time from clasps. Next up, bug W3 after bug W4. Uh, from 2332. Seems like a very similar map, but this time at sunset. Which is making the bitrate go mad. It's a very similar time as well. It's not the same map, just at two different times of day, is it? I don't think it is. Oh, this bitrate is terrible. I'm so sorry about this uh, bitrate. For those of you listening to the podcast edition, oh no, it's definitely a different map because this this long straight wasn't there. 
that start was just, I suppose, really not much you can do about it being very similar. Oh, such a long... That's a, such a long section, and then you go into this really fast corner. Like, there's a lot... That last map we watched, W4, with clasps, that was a lot of corner cutting. Whereas this is just like... Have you got the balls to strafe hard, and a beautiful corner cut there. And then the ability to... Oh, very nice. The ability to just take the uh, take the speed off when you need to. Nicely done, though. Nice, nice time. Small one up next. By Amnesia. Go on. Come on, Kavir. You can do it. Here we are. It's a very small one. It's only 8.22 seconds. All about hitting the down ramps, getting the corner cuts, not hitting the up ramps, and boom, we're into the finish. Very clean, very tasty, very nice. Slick somewhere on that map. Bug W1. Apparently I've watched it. Not quite 100% sure why. I have watched some of these. I do watch them from time to time, but don't remember it. And I don't. Yeah, I completely don't remember. It must have accidentally clicked on it and then YouTube immediately just said, Yeah, let's give you it. <laughs> so you've watched everything. But hey. If Morrow's getting a few more views, I don't mind. Maybe the game will get recommended to some more people. Maybe the game will... Maybe, I'm sure this is how YouTube's recommendations work. I watch all of this and then right after this stream, I'm probably going to watch a load of cycling stuff. So YouTube's going to go, someone who watches a lot of cycling stuff is going to want to watch this. I'm pretty sure that's how the motor, uh, not motor, how recommendations work on YouTube. When you get those weird, you, you all of a sudden just get those recommendations like hand tool rescue stuff. It's because it's like vaguely within your interests. And it happens to be that one guy watched a ton. Oops, wrong way. Anyway, we did see the finish. Yeah, it just happens to be like one guy watched a ton. Uh, and then it was like, yeah, anyone who watches mountain biking or anyone who watches CSGO is going to want this. And then everyone goes, oh, it's pretty cool, actually. Very nice time. Big time gaps between people. On the old Cave 3. Oh, don't scroll up on that. Here we are. Cave 3. awkward trying to um, limit the amount of up ramps you're taking you can't really tell in game with this grass texture whether it's an up ramp or a down ramp you just kind of have to remember when you're jumping down into these sections and some bits are better than others like there's some randomly little bit and it'll also be like facing the correct way to get a down ramp out of a diagonal ramp so you make sure you're strafing to the correct direction but yeah nice time frame grindy type map classic Good compaction of times. Again, new map. So many new maps this week. I should uh, this month. Sorry, should have asked Mara how many new maps there are. But uh... oh, yep, this one. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, go straight through the rocks because apparently they're not physical for some reason. We're not. I've no idea why. No idea what compatibility setting to change to fix that. Yeah. You can cross the line a little bit quicker because you can get that almost impossible to get haste. Another new map though. Good times. Good times. Am I on here? I know I've played this map. I know I've finished it. Unless it's an ever so slightly different map or it had to be deleted or something. Hmm. Right, next. STR Nude Haste Slick. Oh yeah, this map. you got to get very close to everything. 
super close to each of these boxes and there's a specific way of going inside the boxes and outside the boxes and hitting the walls at just the right point to slow you down just enough but not too much very nice time there from uh, str that was on a big big grind i mean you can see how many people have played this added over a year ago yeah you can see a lot of people have played it it's a been a fairly well fought for record between a couple of people uh, Riffo and STR a month ago, but yeah, it was a good grind. Good grind between people. It's a good map. Good slick map. Strafe Cave by Nero. 3245. So we saw the Rocket Cave, and now we got the Strafe Cave. It's, he's cut the same amount of corner that. Um, God, why can't I remember? Special one, that's it. It's got the same amount of coin that Special one did, and Special one had a rocket launcher. Incredible. Pretty much the same route in, in that case, just uh, slightly slower. And I think at this point we're actually going about the same speed. 2,300 is kind of where you top out with rockets. We're going nearly the same speed at the end there. Yeah, beautiful time. Very close between Nero and Nature. Lovely, lovely. Forever Last takes on uh, Gamolium. Is this a map I've played? I've pl I don't remember. Yes, yes it is. I might have even been here when this record was set. I better have a record on this. This is completely just like an aside. <laughs> don't worry, it probably is a simple map simple explanation for why the records it probably is just different versions or the map had to be deleted and that wiped records or something um yeah nice run nice run am i on here yes okay that's fine and two weeks ago yeah okay it's all right on his own wow just going in for a grind Where's Forever Last from? I didn't say on here. Got very good times though, very good times. Not view on start from here, can we? Can I do it from the rating? Yeah, just boom. Oh wow. Just like instantly just slowly going up with a little bit of play and then just boom. Starts playing big time. Very nice. Very, very nice. Another Forever Last with uh, DRM Jumps 2. Oh yeah, big big pre-run here and then run along and try to cut as soon as you can. Yeah, difficult to get the spacing there. The pre-run is partially speed, but it's also partially spacing. Getting the spacing to uh, work out for you. But you can see sort of the range of times because of where people have cut. They're all close, but there's a chance that people have cut longer but been faster. You know? I can definitely improve that time, though. Nice run. Nice run. Asfag RL by Akimoli. Great name for a map. Can't do that within the first 30 seconds. Oh, wow. We're just skipping everything then. The rocket launcher version is just skip everything. No bit rate. Love it. Possibly can't hit the green because he really doesn't want to. Oh, that's... Okay. That was clean, not hitting the head on the uh, little up. Remembering all these little bits where you've got to... Just about get... Just about gets it. Yep, gets it. Yeah, remembering all these little bits where you've got to like, okay, I need height off of this next rocket so that I get over the next bit and stuff like that. It is, uh, it's really cool. Slick through here. That's got to help a bit. Can't see anything. I doubt you can see very much in an actual game. I know the bit rate's definitely not doing us any favours here, but you probably can't see very much in the actual in-game view of this as you're coming through this tunnel. It looks like it's twisting and turning every few seconds. 
Which is slightly better on the 30 FPS screen on <laughs> that I'm watching in o OBS with. Which is slightly better. But it's probably going to be awful on uh, YouTube once it's double compressed. Apologies again. Oh, straight up the wall. Looks like this will be the finishing room. Up and over, round the corner, and onto the finish. Up on that little block in the corner. Nice time there from Akamali. Being a year old V's time? God. I haven't seen V's in ages. I think when they last played. Nice. Forever last, he's back up. And we're on R7 Italy 5. Very CS y inspired maps, I feel. The uh, R7 Italy maps. Like, you feel like you could really cut these into the right area, and you could definitely have a game of like Urban Terror or CS in them. I think this is the one that's R2 backwards. Uh, not R2. R7 Italy 2. It's a multi-pack of multiple maps in the same area. Which is why I think that you could... It it's very, feels very CSE. Yeah. Great run. Great time. Shaving a little bit off of uh, Mac Max 10 month old record. And be 11 month record. Yeah, glad to see maps like this get broken. You know, maps with good record history rather than just seeing a lot of new maps. It's pretty good. Pretty good. Next up, we've got Mirio Slalom R1. This is, uh... <laughs> yeah, I've tried playing this map. It's super hard to hit all of these. Then you get to the bottom and you got to try and get some speed out of it and not just bug. And then all the way through these, don't hit the posts, but also trying to strafe while not hitting the posts. Whiz it across the line, get the slick. Slick burning. Absolutely flying down here. Nothing else you can do, you're just holding it. That's why we're shooting. Pew, pew, pew. And straight into the end fin. Nice run. Nice run. I'm beating an old record. Cracking. Love old records getting broken. Malice taking up a fifth place at the same time. Yeah. Only six Zong coins on that map though. Another run on... Oh no, we haven't seen Four Breaker. Oh yeah, this map. Yeah, yeah. It says Breaker. Classic. Classic. Little slick map, quick slick map. A lot of it's in the pre-run, gaining lots of speed, but um, yeah. Good run. Takes a good amount. Wow, that's a big chunk off of Mac Max record, actually. Big chunk. Yeah, I'm down there. That's definitely a map I've played. Yeah, nice time. Nice time. Next up, Kota Race 17. Oh yeah, this is the one with the um, throwing the teleport orbs. <laughs> Two people trying at it. Got Moon and Kota trying at this one. I think this is actually a demo of <laughs> Kota trying to show Moon how to get through it maybe even. Oh no, I just didn't quite get the everything. Nice teleport. Might be stuck. Literally waited for the reload of the... Um, uh, of the teleporting grenade. To be able to continue. So definitely some time to be saved here. Has then managed to teleport to a room probably shouldn't have been in at that time. Very confusing map. Very... Ah, had to go back. Managed to teleport further than the checkpoint, so I had to go back for the checkpoint. Now that's something you don't often see. 
having to run backwards because you missed a checkpoint because you teleported through it. There are a lot of checkpoints on this map though. 13 already. 14. Just a checkpoint every wall pretty much. Oh nice. We saw a lot of uh, hits on that one on the first time through. Okay, that's a lot better of an idea. Previously, we were using explosion grenades, I believe Kota was. Um, to get through that section by bouncing him up. But that was a much better idea, to just use the teleporters. I think the teleportation grenade, realistically, if it's going to be an all-time thing, you're always going to have it, is just going to be a better option than the, um, than the blast grenades. Nice time, though. Oh, Moon didn't get to finish it. Shame. Next up, Bug W5. Amnesia. Oh, we're cutting straight away to not have to go around the back of the building. That's good. Are there checkpoints on this map or is it just straight to the finish? It is just straight to the finish, I think. By the looks of things. Although the checkpoint markers are hidden in the videos. But we can see when people go through them. By the looks of things, I think it is just straight to the finish. Because otherwise you've got... Um, with these shortcuts, you've got the routing. You can't take the most effective shortcut. You have to consider that that shortcut stops. Uh, it doesn't work. Here, you've just got to hope you're hitting all of these down ramps. Co um, Amnesia did miss one. But not too bad. Boom, whack it across the line. Beautiful timing. Yeah, good run. Good clean run. Only been played once. Boom, boom, boom. First, second, third. All the way down to tenth. Ten players. Yeah. Very similar maps, but eh, it's nice to have slightly different, very similar maps sometimes. T3 stamp by JH Height. I know j has been playing some uh, some weapon combo maps, so this could be one of those. But it looks like it's just going to be a oh, it's a techie, very techie strafe map, trying to fit through these gaps, and probably a little bit of actually finding your way around. But boom, short but sweet, very clean looking. Has already been oh tied and beaten, but if it was tied, why is it on top? Twenty one forty five oh four. 21.45.04 is the set. Oh, the set on time is. Wait, they were set at exactly the same time. No way. No, nah, they're the uploads. It's, it's when it uploads. It's not the time that it was actually set. It's the upload time at the end of each game. The upload happens. But those milliseconds are slightly different, so that will be what's given Amnesia it. But then for some reason it's picked J-Hype for the uh, record. Maybe because he didn't improve, maybe he just set it. I don't know. Who knows? It's picked J-Hype, but then it's given Amnesia it in the rankings there. Another J-Hype record by Flex on Flex's Ninja Deer. This is a very technical strafe map. This was one of my first experiences, I believe, in uh, Quake 3 Defrag, trying to play this map. And then I had to vote a different one to be able to set up my uh, account, because I needed I needed one game played to set up the account. Uh, the Q3DF account, so I had to... Yeah, I had to change it. <laughs> Has it been fixed so you don't fall from the sky anymore? No, you literally fall from the sky. Oh, but you don't start immediately. Let's have a look at the records. All set at the same time. Oh, except for a couple. Oh, there's a couple of different records. Yeah, it was a good, good map. Good map. I like it. Very spacing aware. Rumen Canyon by STR. 
a strafe map. Nicely through there, taking uh, taking the very close lines, but keeping all the speed. Then straight to the finish. Beautiful. Taking 0 0.01 off of Ignatus, who should be in second. Yeah. Great times. Oh, very close. And then Malice in third. Yeah, very close times all the way through there. Yeah, it's a, mal it's a map you can go fast and slow on. But yeah, they've, they're close. Hardcore parkour, really? I suppose right at the end you have to be able to make that jump. Next up, Porn Star Ratio. Oh yeah, this this map has a terrible start. <laughs> a lot of strange little bits and try to get the cuts and not lose as much speed as possible hitting up ramps and stuff like that. <laughs> Good run. Been beaten. Been beaten handily two days ago by Forever Last and Amnesia, but we'll watch those ones next week. There's Forever Last. That'll be a next month thing. I don't know why I keep saying week. It's month. <clears throat> next up, Amnesia. 29.85. Definitely not a freestyle map, even though it says FX. Just fast, just clean. Oh, oh no, that's all right. I thought he just completely died at the end there, bonking into that wall, but nope, it's fine. Nice time, pretty handily over Meekin there. Pretty big time gaps between each player, but... We'll see if they come down over time. See how and when they do. Next up we've got Cab Corp VQ3 SM2. Big old pad strafe map. Downhill pad strafing. Carefully aiming for the next sections. Sometimes slightly hoping that you hit them, but most of it's... Most of it is routing, but sometimes you have to just completely change your route mid-air because you realise that you're now going way faster than you have been before. Uh, so it tends to be not the first time you go fast that you set a new PB, but the second time when you've worked out what the hell the spacing's going to... what are you going to do with all that speed and where the spacing's going to send you. Nice time, though. Nice time. Yeah, a little bit older record by Nero. Again, new maps. A lot of records. Golf 6 by STR. 13 second slick map. Nicely off the side and into the hole. Oh, you actually have to go into the hole. It's not just on the hole that gets you the... Uh, gets you the time. Yeah, a few good records there. And GPL2, probably be our last one to watch. Rocket and Slick map. Riffo, absolutely killing it. Slick pretty much absolutely dominates. So you just smash it through. But the Rockets help you right at the start. Taking out Amnesia, taking out an old time from uh, EOF Op 3. Good times there. Comia from two years ago. Knight from three years ago. This is an old map. A lot of people have played it. We've got some really long, long ago. You can't you can't even see the times from before then because they're not recorded. Yeah, a lot of people have played this map. It's a good map. Very good map. Um, yeah, that's going to be this stream, but we're going to continue with the video. So again, I'm going to cut it. This has been bang on an hour. Hopefully this all cuts together correctly. Sorry about these little intermissions in between. But yeah, thank you very much for watching the stream. Let's go.
Right, welcome back. Sorry for saying that the uh, thing was stopping. Pornstar Apple by ACC Riffo. We have a nice little blaster up and uh, pre-fire rocket to start off with. And just clean, clean rocketry from Riffo right there. 11-11 11, 11 time. Very, very nice. Oh, cracking. Three-year-old record broken. Yeah. Nice to see the old records fall. Clearly a good record because no one's even... Oh yeah, clasps up there. But yeah, quite a lot. Not too many people gaining major places on that one. Uh, yeah. Please work. Yes. Next up, we've got Meekan on Yotun Quickie Re. Oh yeah, this was a tough map. Um, difficult to see. You may be able to see it on stream. I can see it on my computer, even in this. Uh, but yeah, these pads here specifically, a lot of people are in trouble seeing. But I've got a really blown out monitor, so it's fine for me. I was just completely skipping the slick there. Then straight into the finish. A very, very nice time. 21.06. Oh, I'm the slowest. Wow. Surprised with that. Yeah, tricky map though. Tricky map. I can definitely improve that. I mean, that's a, a massive improvement I can get on that one. But yeah. Next up, we have a uh, break hand by Nero. 22 seconds, 0.8. Nice bit of strafing. Just going to be clean strafing a field with this map. Haven't played it myself. It's incredible how many maps there are. I mean, some of these aren't new, and I just haven't played them in. You've got two weeks on the Synotic servers. But yeah, there's going to be a lot of maps that people haven't played. Nice. Record by Ash. A few a week, a year, a week, a year, a few months ago. It's a reasonably well played map then. Pretty good. Pretty good. Good, world, good new world record. STR a week ago coming in clutch on that. We're on nearing the end of the... Uh, Records only 50 more to go, and we are actually on the videos that were loaded on the 28th. That's how many records were set. DF Dust 2 by Forever Last. We may have some world record resets, by the way, as news coming through with uh, the new stuff. Oh, I forgot to look if I could get 72030. Could install a plugin that would allow that. Damn it. Nice. Very clean all the way through. No tapping. It's difficult to get through that whole map at full speed. But there was no speed lost there. Breaking a Mac Mac record. Another one falls for Forever Last. Who is forever first most of the time. Probably while the one's in there. On next, we got Bug 11 Slick by Clasps. This record, we saw that it was going to fall. And yeah, beautiful. That's what we needed. Didn't see that last time. Didn't see the full cut going all the way up. Nice cut around that corner. Nice bit of wall strafing using the roof to get around that without losing too much speed. Loses a lot of speed there. Could definitely uh, keep speed there. Here, nice landing. And straight onto that bounce pad. That's beautiful. Not getting the step up. I know Jessica was saying on all of these. Um, we should be able to get a step up. Produce the air time. Which would be good. And we're going to bunny hop up here. Oh no. Actually going for the slicks on some of that. That second one not going for the slicks. Because he wanted to lower his speed. Purposefully. Yeah get the step up on that. And then um, to lower air time. Hopefully no bugs down here. Avoiding as many pads as possible into a slick up to the finish. A nice, nice time there from Clasps. So where the record lies today. In the same time, uh, Banano set a second place record. About a second behind, so some big chunks in gaps here actually. Very nice time though there from Clasps. We move on. MJCO1-2. By Ecas, I believe. 
Oh, this this is just a super tricky map. You've either got to hit... Well, whatever you're doing, if you're going fast, you've got to hit very, very dead spacing here. The spacing's so important to not lose speed and be able to do cuts like that. And then you don't want to get popped up and go high because the finish is underneath the platform. You actually have to go into that bottom bit there. It's only when you actually... When you... Uh, so it doesn't finish now, it finishes now when he falls through the line. Nice time. Year old record. For, yeah, a lot of old records. Not too many people online at the time. Getting lower ranks times down there. Well, not low, but, you know. You know, there's only 80 people that have played it just under. So. Still, it's a good time. It's a good time, but there's a lot of competition on these maps. I think the top sort of, I mean, you can you can name names of people that are getting world records all the way here. You know, even if we exclude Jaska, because it's like a strafe grinding map. But like you can see a lot of guys that are getting world records in this top top section. So top 20 is stacked in Synotic. Everything else, a bit low. <laughs> Either grind every day or you never grind. Bug W2 by Malice. It's a long one. We've already seen a couple of the other bugs. Pretty standard route. Doesn't seem anything too special. Definitely going to be able to see some time save if someone wants to grind this map out. Longer, hard strafe map. It's good. We definitely need some more of those. There's a lot of uh, shorter strafe maps, but not too many of these longer ones. Which are interesting throughout. You know, difficult because it's so thin, but also interesting. Nice. Let's see, where are we? Let's see where we are. Is it open? No, you did. Yeah, not too many players, but... Nice time from Malice. Taking it off of radio, who set it three seconds the day before. Pretty good time still. I mean, it's still in second from some, you know, hitters. Hey, Scar. Next up, we have... Cave 1F. Uh, this might be the cave I played. The Cave 1 that I said earlier. It might be Cave 1F that I've played. There's a few almost duplicate maps been uploaded recently. Which is why I have been getting confused. But this map, very similar to the last. Get that strafe, get it to the finish. And boom. And yeah, there I am. Decent time, actually. Just outside the top 10. STR still holding the record. Holding it strong. The 1, 2, 3 and 4 were all set in that grind. Good times. Good times on a new map. Good times. Glad of it. Next up, we're going to be going to GBFG. Shirasaki. Which is... Wow. Okay. Just do it backwards because you have to. Like this will just be a learning the map just forcibly. I mean, you can see here the places where the shots have been taken, they're all taken in the same places. You know, you saw a few spots where people had already shot before. Just mad. Absolutely mad. Year old Mac Mac record three years ago, Rainbow Shadow. Scale. Not heard of that name. But it took the uh, speed record. Getting a massive minus. Apparently. Every map on Hardcore Parkour does. 
Yeah. Great time from Shirasaki. Good grind. Oh, it's on relaxed running. Oh, well. Wow. Yeah, I suppose you can get through it. There's nothing saying you can't. Fair enough. All right, then. Next up, we have Sliced Bread. PSG Amnesia doing the run. It does look like bread. That is true. Nice little technical strafe map with some good... Pa oh, yeah. Oh, that was nice. That was clean. Didn't lose a lot of speed on that bounce pad up. A lot of this is just me going... Oh, now spacing pads. Love them. Love them. Love them. Love them. Yeah, there's a thing called skimming where you can go through blocks in uh, Quake 3. And sometimes... Don't really do you many favours in Xenotic where we don't have it. Nice job there. Lovely little... Uh, lovely little run. Three hours ago. Wow. Been there obviously this week, but... Or this month. Yeah. Good times. Some very good times there. Another new map, of course. Next up, we have Cool Airs 03. This is uh, a map that has has got bounce pads in it that will now be fixed, I believe. Potentially not, though. I don't think they're required. Interesting from 2337 here, just to uh, use the shotgun constantly. Clearly increasing speed. And is he only AD... Set a world record that's got a video only ADing for one massive section and then uh, always firing the gun. So he's just like, yeah, my, my mouse button got stuck. It was gummed up with crap. Yeah, look, uh, AD strafing, no strafing down to the finish line. Hmm. That can definitely be... Oh, yeah, that can definitely be improved. Where's that record now? Jeez. Was it 2337? Three, three, okay, so it must have just got caught as a world record at the end of a run. And then, yeah, we've had a lot more records since then. But still, it's a record. It is a record. Where was it? Ah, it got set on there. And then on the last day, we have a new record, a massive speed record included. Still a world record, even if you're the only person to have run it at the time that the world records were taken. Still a world record, still counts. Very nice. It's actually a good run, though. Like, it's a good run from a good player. It's not like just some random was... <laughs> In theory, we could see uh, some random turn up on, the, on a map who's never played Defrag before, struggle through it for five minutes. Then no one else plays it. You know, the map ends, they don't know how to extend yet try it again or whatever, or just don't want to, then uh, and no one no one else plays the map and you've got like a 10 minute time on a 30 second map. Could happen. Could happen. You never know. That was a pretty good time from Micken. Bashing it through. We'll get beaten, but that's for next month. And, uh, yeah, good time. Good run. Clean. Not much to say about it. Next up, the next map in the BS map series. Some of these really are BS maps. Like Some of them are very bullshit. But those last two, this one and the one we just saw, don't seem to be that bad. Very short, though. Can imagine that getting beaten uh, down to, like, four seconds for sure. Yes, it's already been beaten to five and a half. Maybe a bit less. I do. I think it might not get to four. Thinking about it, but probably get pretty close. But if someone can find a pre-run, a way to do a decent pre-run, you'll definitely get down. BS map two next two three three seven again. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, not a long map, but a decent one. And again, another record that was set with 2337 on their own. Uh, beaten straight after. But it's still a, it's a respectable run, really. 
all those runs by 2337 that have been because of that, they're still reasonably respectable, you know? BS Map 06 again. Probably going to see the same matter where it's just a 20 minute run, but like, you know, you'd go on and you won't be beating this sort of run easily. You know, 2337, good player, good knowledge of the game. You're not going to beat that with a, with super reason. You can tell just by the fact that, you know, it's still beating Malice, Kabla. These guys are good. Wind. These are all good players, you know. Uh, but it does get beaten by these guys. We'll see when that happens. BS map 08. Up next. Dead. More shotgunning. Oh, you could definitely get that down ramp. Just missing out on getting that down ramp. Getting through those has got to be possible. I'm not quite sure where you go for it. Then we want to minimise the amount of up ramps you take. Try to make sure you get that down ramp. He does very nicely too. Over the top and to the finish. Oh, otherwise you've got to go under, hit the bounce pads, then come back up. I see, I see. Yeah. Officially the worst time, but yeah. Good players are beating it, not not by a huge amount. I mean, that's a pretty bit. To be fair, that's a pretty big time, but you know, wind not a massive time. Yeah, just, I mean, that's the sort of run that that's pretty standard. You know, that's the sort of run that most people are putting in day to day. We're watching these world records, but these are the runs that you're putting in day to day. These are the runs that you're putting in when you're just chilling, because clearly, uh, two three three seven was just going through, putting in. Putting in runs on all the BS maps. And like, yeah, you, you don't very, very often see one of these uh, world record runs ending a completed run. And certainly not a completed run that would have been world record. <laughs> because it was a PB at the time. And therefore would have been world record. So, yeah. Very rare that we see that sort of thing. That was a decent map. That wasn't completely BS. Yeah. Pulled out by the next round that came through. But again. Respectable time. On to the next one. BS map 01. Ah yes I remember this one. This uh, No I don't think I do. Never mind. Never mind. Different map I'm thinking of. Just same textures. This one's a little bit trickier. There's going to be some shortcuts. Not sure if we're going to be able to do them. Some of those look like they might be doable slick only. Uh, but that one's definitely doable. Over the top instead of taking that bounce pad up and over to the finish at the end. Nice time. I mean, you can see this nearly six seconds improvement straight away. Uh, over the previous PB and then eight seconds up to the leader now. So we won't dwell on these too much. Because they're clearly more to be optimised, but decent. Cool Mini 4. Now, here's a map that has been played by a lot of people. I think. <laughs> Could be a brand new Cool Mini, but there are a lot of brand new maps this month. To be fair, we had a lot of new submissions. I put out the video on how to submit. There's a few problems with it, but it's good enough, I think. Um... And the forum post plus chatting to people on Discord is always good. Yeah. Nice time. Still stands. What do I, does it? No, that will be the one that we watched. But Shirasaki still has it. 3966. Yeah, took, a, took another third of a second off. Nice run. Next up, we're going to be watching Forever Last on Strafus Quickie. 09. That last one was a new map. This one, probably also a new map. Maybe not. It's quite cool how many uh, of these new maps have a decent amount of players just for the sheer fact that there was like 15 people online 
during the time that we were grinding through it. Hey Jan. I think that's like the third or fourth time I've said hey Jan in this uh <laughs> this video, but there you go. It's a long video. Uh, if you're still here, um <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> Good time. Good time. New map. 2337. Just there. Love it. <laughs> Another Streffers quickie coming up next. 07. 3222. With a slick. And another slick. Not great telegraphing of whether it's slick or not. But. It'll do. Just slight different colour. Good speed carrying. Good flick in between left and right. Keeping it nicely on course. Getting it round the corners. Beautifully to the line. Isn't it is a lot of fast going on. So he was that forever last. Uh, down in fourth now. After the next one, took the first uh, three spaces. Next game played after. All right, two games after. Not a bad time though. Not a bad time at all. Still in fourth with some good players that came after. Another cool map. Cool simple three. Forever last playing it. Ah yes, I have played this map. As long as it's the correct one. I have played this map. Yeah, you can walk around here. Or did I play a slick version of this map? For some reason I feel like I played a slick version. Ah, uh, this is... Yeah, this is just after they added velocity pads. So a lot of these records will get beaten. Because... Uh, on either older maps or brand new maps. Because the velocity pads have been fixed. But also keep speed teleporters. Oh wow, teleporting over there, or jumping over there instead of teleporting. So if you go straight on, you get the teleporter. But I didn't even realise that was possible going around there, but I think I probably would have enough speed. Ah yes, so that those records have been wiped. So 17 minutes ago. Morrow has a record still for some reason from the old one. Three hours ago. Yeah, record wiped, deleted time. How come Morrow's got to stay then? <laughs> So yeah, all of that. It wasn't that. Where's the other one? Forever last, but this was 10 days ago. Oh well, must have been this one. Must have been this one, but then it's all... Ah, because the PB was deleted, right. So everyone who played here got a deleted time. Including myself. Because the... Uh, yeah, they changed all the stuff. So that was a deleted time. Some of these times may be deleted. Warning. We're having some, a lot of changes, making the game better, but it is requiring some deleted times here and there. And some wiped leaderboards. Kind of annoying that Forever Last actual PB was wiped because of that. You know, you, you can only keep one PB. If you've already beaten it with a broken thing, then you lose it, which is fine if you cheated, Sodja. But, um... If it's just physics changes that we're going through at the minute. Kind of annoying, but hey-ho. Hopefully it makes the game better. A lot of records are easy to beat at the minute because velocity pads mean you can keep your speed a lot more instead of having to stop and potentially fall in pits like that if it uses a velocity pad instead of a double jump to get you across or a ramp jump. But a nice run on, uh, on there on Rigrilu 05. Holding the record. Again, a new map. So not much to say about it. Regrilu 03 for Everlast again. 1975. Can't see Jack's shit, but... <laughs> it's there, honest. The map is there, I promise. Ah, uh, that one. This might be deleted as well because that was a velocity pad. I feel like everything from that, from this upload that's got velocity pads is going to be wiped. Oh no, still stands. Still stands. We got three hours ago. We've got a a wiped leaderboard. 
but the one from a week ago still stands. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Love a good bit of Femboy Lover 69. Yeah, I think it's probably better at higher quality because I'm getting forced into 480p. But yeah, at higher quality, I can see this now. I can see this very well now. I'm at 1440p. Even though I can't run 1440p on my computer. But yeah, I can see that very nicely. It'll look better in game. Although there's someone who's played BS Map 10, 522. Uh, yeah, there's someone who's played PicMip a lot, uh, which is where you flatten the textures perfectly for yourself. I have... Um, I I've had to force myself to play with these. This record feels beatable. This... He's definitely not hitting dead on strafe angles, but hey, who knows? And you've got to do all the all the ang all the up, down, left, right from this centre point that we keep coming back to, and then finish up in the finish. Nicely, nicely done. Ah, the only time that was finished. <laughs> How's that work then? That's why it's a record, because it's the only time that was finished, but it doesn't look like a particularly difficult map. Never mind. Good record, 522. Very well done. Love you dearly, if you're watching this for some reason. I'm going to break your record after this. Um, and then immediately end match, so I get the video. Cool Pucks 2, Forever Last. Oops. Ah, we may have a rejected time. Because we have a velocity pad in there. Nicely done. If you went a little bit faster, you'd just bonk at the end there. Oh no, keeping the times. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Cool Airs 01. Let's see, what map is this? Ah yes, I have played this one. Um, <clears throat> that first step is really annoying. Really difficult. Then... You slick to all hell. Get around this corner as fast as possible. And then we'll see how this finishes up because it's a really tricky finish. I kept bonking on these steps. I got really annoyed at this and actually quit, to be fair. But, oh, okay, so that's the finishing way for that. So, we scroll back a little bit. So you can see... So just here, there's a bounce pad, you can go round on a slick, you can use the slick to get across and speed and bounce you up, or you go up this little ramp, that's a ramp, and you go up there onto the bounce pad, and then bounce up and over this top bit. It's doable by anyone, but that's the fastest way to do it. Cool airflow up next, again forever last. Have I played this one? Yes, I've played this one. Very weird with it being bounced up, but that's the airflow bit of it, I guess. That's a big boost. That feels like we might be getting a... Uh, yeah. Going very far here. And you get these bouncing on there. So yeah, we might get a, might get a shafted time here. Because... Yeah, don't fall in that because you will not be able to reset. And then boom, through a teleporter. Oh, it might be reset because actually now there's a warp zone rather than a teleporter. So that warp zone can do keep speed. And then come down to the finish. Over that one. All the way straight into the finish. That's either been beaten very handily or been uh, deleted. Yeah, it's a 49.70 now. If it didn't get deleted, then... Oh, a few delete... Well, that's strange. 
That time's allowed to stay, but that's deleted. Despite the fact they have to be run on the same... Weird. Weird. Yeah, which was the one I played in? There we are. Three days ago. At the time, it was sixth. I was quite happy with that. It wasn't a great time. Still top ten. Nice. Right. Bug 82 RL. Here's the map we've been seeing. No, we haven't. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. No, ignore me. I think we have seen this at least once before, though. So it might be some decent competition. Nice time. Oh, yeah, that's a lot old map. Beating a two-year-old record by Ambient. Very nice time there. Very clean, very clean rocketry. Rocking cool pox. Forever last now. Uh, and this is just going to be an absolute display in strafe spacing. And making sure that you make the gap. The fact that... Oh, it's got to be new, because that you wouldn't have been able to get up that before um, pads were added. Thank you to Juhu, by the way, for doing that. But this is very clean. This is very... Oh, wow. Yeah, this is very clean for an early record. So it'll be interesting to see how this one gets pushed down. Since that's quite early. Yeah, only a couple of games played on it. One with all that, and then one with a couple of people each. Not bad, not bad. Cool Woe up next for Everlast hitting it again. These uploads, as far as I'm aware, are uploaded in reverse of how they were set. So this is the oldest of this upload from the uh, 28th, from the 10 days ago. I know that we've got newer ones and the time's gone up in the last bit. That's because I'm recording this over four days if you haven't worked it out. <laughs> I ain't recording for four hours, that's very difficult. Nicely done. Good time. It holds. And yeah. A nice time and a decent map. Porn star ratio up next. By Amnesia. Oh yeah, we've seen this map already this month. Ah, Amnesia managing to land on the top when spawning in the air. Because you just spawn in the air on this map. Amnesia managing to land in the top. Pretty good. Quite far behind best at this point, but... Incredibly far behind best. Gonna have to make a big cut here. Gonna have to. Wow! Makes incredible cut right at the end there somehow. Must have fallen off on a really good pace. Now, multiple people have broken the 17 barrier, but that would still be a third, a second place, I suppose, because you'd replace Amnesia, but that would still be. Yeah, second place time. Or third place time on this leaderboard. Depending on whether you count removing Amnesia, because he set the last one. Next one up, Made in China Knight underscore Slider. It's a slick map. We got STR, classic slicker, putting in a time of just under 20 seconds. Not ramps there, but actually just, uh, just sort of curve, well, curve, not just a straight up ramp, just a curve. Yeah, a very nice time. Managing to get on under. Get it in under. River last also getting a time under, and then it's a second up to Amnesia. Hardcore parkour, yeah, you have got to make those jumps. It is not as easy. I think it's definitely yeah, a doable one, but you need a decent amount of play. Decent amount of skill. Nup slick. We've seen this one before. We've seen a few grinds on this one. It's a good map. This I believe uh Riffo took this record back off of STR. The two of them have had this record this month. Both of them have. I'm not sure who had it last time, but yep. Riffo, oh, STR, putting a another time to beat his own that he set just there. Then before that, STR had the record, so STR taking it off of STR, and Riffo had it at some point probably. 
probably. I don't know. <laughs> Good map though. A lot of people played it. 150. 151 players on that map. Good map. Good time. Glad that those records are sort of still getting pushed, even though they're, you know, they're the classic ones we've got. 42 episode one. Oh yeah, this was a good map. Yeah, I've played this one. Bit of a weird bug with the uh, weapon pickup order, but that's actually the Xenotics weapon pickup order. It's like the machine gun's better than the Devastator or the rocket launcher. Strange. But a tricky map because you've now got to thread the needle just through here, which is why we didn't see a ba a, um, a blast there bouncing him up. A nice time. A very, very nice time. Good amount of players on this map. I mean, like, really down him. Down here. Yeah. Older map. But still good. Definitely uh, worth definitely worth checking out that map. Hang time DF. Only slightly over three minutes, but we're gonna watch the whole thing because this isn't a, this is a this is a proper one. This is a tricky map. This is a very very like even for Quake 3, like, you can see it's just very tricky. So, Quake 3 DF, this is a super hardcore, difficult map. We're not going to see a perfect clear of this for, for it. Like, you've just got to thread the needle so perfectly. I don't know why it looks slightly weird in Zenotic compared to what I've seen in uh, Quake 3. But, well, to be fair, I've mostly looked at Hang Time 3 recently. I mean, just trying to get underneath that and actually do this. Hang time 3 is apparently not doable. Uh, hang time 2 is doable with some settings changes. Hang time 1. I probably did require some settings changes, but... Jaska has said that he's uh, got a hang time 2 completion. I think that's this month. In February. So it'll be out next month when I do that but yeah this is a tricky this is incredibly quick clear three minutes let me quickly check the um, the quake three leaderboards for hang time so hang time one Hang time one's record in Quake Three is by Tutti TH, and it's in three minutes and four seconds. Fair few completions, though. To be fair, quite a lot of completions actually. Oh, that's actual total completions, not just each player. Incredible run here, though, to be keeping up with that. Jaska making it happen. I don't know how long this one took him to to do because a lot of this is super difficult, like very, very technical, very has to be perfect stuff. Where you get reset back to a very long way back if you fail some of it. And yeah. Nice. See, it's quite an old map. I've just seen the thing on Quake 3 where it's over six years old. I didn't realise that Hang Time 1 was actually that old. I sort of remember when I was playing Quake... Th well, that was six years ago, never mind. I feel old now. <laughs> Whoop. Level 6 is the hardest level. Of course, by default. There's a lot of memorization. I mean, you can see when Jaska was there just preparing for what to do next. Even though he's facing technically the wrong way, he just knows knows what he's got to do next instead of having to look and go, oh, what's this room next? What, what's coming up now? You know? Oh, so... So perfect to get over. 
great time really really great time probably the only almost certainly gotta be the only uh yeah jessica is crazy oh wow there's multiple completions five days ago multiple people completed it wow congratulations to anyone who completed this map honestly very difficult map 522 just went for the speed record a very 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 nice time Next up, we got Cool Mini One by Des. This is a clean strafe map. I'm trying to think if this is one that I've played or if this is a new one. A lot of new maps got uploaded, like I've said, but specifically cool maps have been fixed. Oh, did he really get in right at the end? That was literally, that is the end screen, so that means that that was finished. At exactly the end of the 20 minutes. Definitely a new map though. If that's the. Uh, finish board. Have a look at the records. Yeah new map. We've got a few more records. Desi's down in ninth now. So that's. And that's with an improved time. So yeah that was an early time for sure. But still a good time. Competitive time. BCD Pro by Akimoli. Starting off with the Hagar, running over some pads, rockets, in zone, in zone we can avoid that because we by default get the uh, get the shield but that wouldn't be the case in Quake 3 so we can avoid a lot of stuff and save a lot of time, it's pretty good. A year old Mac Mac record falls again. A lot of year old Mac Mac records. A lot of records from Mac Mac falling recently. Hope we see him again soon. Next up, we go to Shirasaki, who is on RDK2. A very bright map, Jesus. <laughs> wow, that's bright. Nice spacing there. On a little step up, just getting back on the. Doesn't really matter for this because it's not slick, but you know, back on the ground early. And across the line, very, very simple, very short map. But a nice time for only person to sub minute, sub minute, sub 20, sub 20 seconds. Again, another new map, so not too much to look into there. Not that we look into the times too much anyway. New Dakab. Another annoying map where you have to start off by being in the air, so you have to reset and be perfectly aligned and get going straight away. Um, with no wait time. Nicely through here, very cleanly. Just about making it off the bounce pad, that's going to be tricky. Might get fixed again, we've been, you know, bounce pads and stuff getting fixed recently. So that might be something that gets put onto the pile of fixes, but some of them won't get fixed, some of them will. Nice time there. Still stands. Another new map. Good to see the new... It's, it's good to see all the new maps get played. You don't want a map that doesn't have any completions, you know. That wouldn't be, wouldn't be something that we wanted. Cool Mini 3. Uh... There's definitely a few cool minis I've played, but this doesn't seem like one of them. I'm not sure where we're going here. But all the cool minis are technical like that. Get as close to the wall as possible. Hit your strafing lines. Very good. Clean maps, you know. Generally not too many problems with them. With like uh, getting like spacing getting you just completely shafted unless you go a lot faster or you end up going sh slower and trying to find that spacing between the spacing WSE1 fix by Amnesia some cracking strafe angles here oh nice cut oh beautiful to gain the speed off of the bounce pad there Lovely, lovely, lovely cut. We're into the last 10 records of the month. We've got Skyveno by Jaska. Going to bring the time down again to a 31.24. 
absolutely mad on this type of map. I mean, it's just, just incredible. Using the resets to get ahead by figuring out where they are. That's very skilled. And just landing on everything, just perfectly going to where you need to be. Just a cut, just below the speed needed. Straight, uh, making it even easier, you know, before... We're coming out of here, we're landing one, two, landing on this orange block here, but the extra speed we seem to be able to carry now. Great time. Great time. Glad that uh, Jessica's pushing these maps a little bit. Very few people got the completion, so that's mostly just because doing these pads one to one to one to one pretty difficult. Nice time. Next up, we are rocking Cool Mini 2 by Nero. Another map just like, oh, nice cut there. Getting just enough speed up their stairs. I was about to say, that seems like the wrong way to go. Try not to lose as much speed as possible on the up ramps. Or oh, helps. And across the line. Very nice. A lot of players on that. 30 players and it's only been out a week. That is a lot of players. I mean, where are they come? Uh, just multiple games. Actually been played multiple times. A lot of these you see that's just one game that's got a lot of people. Then a few dribs and drabs. But good that he's got multiple. Over on a cool simple three. Nero, see what he can do. Not too simple, really. Is this the one? Yeah, this is the one we saw before. Yep. So we're going to come around here, get the double jump. Difficult to always get that. Sometimes the spacing just gets you that little bit. Then use the pad to get up. Clean around here. Oh, ver oh very clean. Only losing about 50, uh, 50 speed overall there from in to out. Skip to the edge, straight through the teleporter. Get back on the strafe. Use that bounce pad to get across to the outside. Flicking around. Lovely, lovely time. Lovely strafing. That was good. That was clean. And it's been beaten 42, <laughs> 42 minutes. Oh, no, no. That record. So that record was wiped. That whole run. That was... Oh, that was on the same one that Forever Last got a video out of. Unless Forever... Oh, yeah. Forever Last video was there. And that's out of the wiped one. So that one was the wiped one. Unfortunately. Including my run. So we don't have too many players because that was the big big chunk of the players got wiped because a lot of them had already played it before and then PB'd in that, so it got wiped. Unfortunate, but hey ho. Record set, 44.60? Is that going to be? No, that's a lot slower than these records. A lot slower, but hey, good that we're getting them wiped rather than having unbreakable records. You know? Mui Miracle up next. This one with the bounce pad this time. So that we saw this record before where um, I believe it was Ecas had to gently get up that ramp rather than taking the red thing with a bounce and keeping speed. Oh, nice bit of wall strafing to gain speed well. Not even to really think. Not clipping into that corner and just getting stuck right there was quite difficult on this map. Then are we going to see the same as Ecas where... Yes, we are. Bash into the wall, stop yourself dead. And fall straight into the teleporter so you can just get going again the other side. So still not enough speed to make it. I think it must be a double jump thing. We can't double jump in Zonotic. Um... Or double ramp jump at least. So it's, uh, yeah, probably comes out of that. Oh, that record got wiped. Never mind. <laughs> record wiped. Um, oh, including my record. So how come some of them got kept? Ah, right. Some of them got kept because they were records that were slower than previous records that had already been set before. But all of them got wiped. Shame. Shame, really. Oh, well. Like I said, gonna happen. Gotta happen.
don't want unbreakable un unbeakable unbreakable records vs map 01 may also be a wiped record not too sure but yeah now we're seeing now we're seeing the cuts that can be made on this map not just like uh two three three sevens run where it was very taking the route that was supposed to be taken but finding the route that we can take and that's where that time save. I did say it was a big time save, but yeah, that's where that time save came from. Nice time. Nice time. Breaking that. Uh, breaking the route, basically. Very nice. BS Map 02. So we are going to see all of these, actually. That's good. BS Map 02. Oh, uh, yeah. With the pre-run pre coming through to gain a lot more speed. That's how you break that one. A 5.47. Uh, Forever Last has improved on that a week ago, which we won't be seeing. That one's in... Uh, these are the last few records. Next up, BS Map 07. Meekin. Oh, yeah, this one. Yeah, I hated this one. I really hated that start. was so annoying. <laughs> And I just couldn't figure... I mean, that's what I was doing. I'm trying to figure out what I was doing wrong, but I think I was, it's just strafe harder and get good. Because I was doing what's going on now. But not the wall running, but, you know... Most of it wasn't losing too much speed here. Yeah. Good time from Meekin. Good, good time. Good time. Nah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> down, right down. But, hey, okay. forever last improving that one this month. We'll see that next month when I record uh, February's runs. BS Map 08 by Shirasaki. Oh, yeah, we saw this one. We saw, uh... oh, going for an extra bounce and going, th ah, yeah, there we go. Taking that cut through, going for the extra bounce for the spacing on taking that cut. Get super close to that wall. You could almost see it was skimming. It wasn't because this is an otic, but almost, almost. Very nice run though. Very clean, crispy, and that's how you knock four and a half seconds off of that uh, record we saw before. Next up, Cool Airs 3. We have seen this map. Let's see if it got a bounce pad to it. We are going to be going over to the slick still, trying to get as much speed as possible. Did play this one, and yeah, I did think the slick would be the best option. I couldn't really work out a route though, I'm too tired to think about it. Oh, nice. Nice around the back. There's a lot of routing options on this, uh, this map. Don't think we'll be able to get across there in Zenotic, actually. That jump. Don't believe it will be makeable. Very nice time. Very clean, very fast, but massive amount of time shaved off of 2337's run. A lot of people played that map. Yeah, big amount of time shaved off. Forever last taking that record down even further than we had Amnesia. That record is now in uh now in fifth place, the one that we've just watched. Very nice. Next up, we roll on to Uprising from Akimoli. This will be a weapony map. Oh, nice. Water glitching. Never fun, but... There we are. Ooh. Bad water glitching. Carefully up the steps. A little bit behind his best time. Having a, oh, that's a tricky jump that he had to do just there. Akimol is a really good weapons player. What? 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 <laughs> He's just detonating those mid-air somehow. And then carefully across. Just gently rockets it up. Holding that air position. Making sure he's just floating just about... 
Hagar is a little bit more forgiving than the uh, Plasma, so these maps tend to be a little bit easier in Xenotic than in uh, in, Zenot in, in Zenotic than Quake 3D Frag. Hmm. Big, big, big time gaps, but breaking an eight-month-old record, it's a pretty good one. Wow, that's a lot of bad votes. Why? Why? There's not even that many people. Like, everyone has to have said it's bad. Everyone who finished it has to have said it's bad, but like, they I think people who can't complete it just say they're bad. I like Trackmania's thing. We used to not... Oh, oh, we do have the nine-minute run. I am going to skip through this. Um... Wait, what? Why did I just leave my... Oh, that was the last record. Aha! So we will be seeing the hang time one next week. So there's a little teaser. I might watch the whole thing of it. Two days ago, yeah, 6th of February. Right. So that was uh, the records recap for the month of January 2023. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to have quite a few records. I mean, we can already see a lot of records since the uh, since the last one we've just watched here. We've got a fair few records already. <laughs> and we're only eight days into the month. So I'm going to strap myself in for a long one next month. Hopefully this was entertaining. Hopefully you've had a great time watching, listening, whatever you did with this video. Hopefully the timestamps worked. Hopefully it gives some valuable entertainment to someone. But most importantly, because a lot of people aren't watching this, I don't care. <laughs> I'm doing this for me, damn it. I enjoy watching these myself. So thank you for watching. I will see you uh, either on demos or semi-demos or whatever. I don't know. Been a good one. Been a good one. Uh, yeah. In a bit. See ya.